Okay. We are live. Hopefully. Why am I not? Why am I not hearing the game audio? What the hell? Uh oh. What's going on here? Hi, Morning Star. How's it going? Uh, hope you're having a good day. Uh. Why can't I hear my audio? Give me a second. What the hell is going on here for me? Uh. Do 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 do. Why is the. What the fuck? Why is that off for me? That shouldn't be off. There we go. Can you guys hear the game audio? For some reason, the monitoring was off for me. I'm <laughs> glad you can chat with me for once. Oh, have you been watching for a while? If so, then thank you. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. <coughs> so tonight, I'm starting the stream. I'm starting the stream early, super early. In fact, usually, Usually it's like 2 o'clock in the morning for me. Right now it's like what? 11? Not even 11. Well, I'm about to be 11. Five minutes. Yeah, but I stream too late. Yeah, I know. See, that's what I hate, really. I know I stream so fucking late, but I never really have any time to stream in the day. Maybe like, hopefully in a couple of months I'll be able to do that. I'm supposed to be having a, a big move in like a couple of months or so, so... That will change my environment drastically. But since people are away and all the noises that will happen in my background are gone, I can do this earlier than usual. And I can do it for a little bit longer too, because I've been sleeping all day. So we're here, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Trilogy. Where we last left off, I'm trying to remember. Where we last left off, I believe we were in the middle of the case with, um, what's his fucking name? Ron? Ron Delight? He was being trialed for murder. And, why can I remember? <laughs> He's being trialed for murder, and next door, uh, Luke at me was being trialed as the as the uh, mass to mass uh, thief and uh, we had to go and stop that before he got his verdict because he is the true mastermind behind all this even though I don't think he's the true mastermind I think it's the wife all right let's see how that turn out we'll see how that turn about I believe this is where we left off right yep and also in the middle of the trial, Mia popped up, all Obi-Wan Kenobi style. She was like, she was like, Phoenix, Phoenix, you must travel to the Dagobah system. <laughs> Can't stay up past 2 a.m. Usually start streaming because, oh. Or bad, if you take too late, you'll have some negative effects. Oh, that sucks. You've been here since slide two? Oh my God, thank you. Speaking of slide two, the final part for that playthrough has been edited today. It uh, was finished rendering. It would have been, the whole playthrough would have been on YouTube by um, the, by yesterday. But for some reason, <laughs> for some reason, the uh, like it would get rendered out. And then when I would go to upload it to YouTube, it's like, no nah, man, I don't want none of this shit. What is this? I don't know what this is. I can't do nothing with it. So I would have to delete it, so I had to re-edit it and re-render it. Pain in the ass. Because it takes forever to render a fucking three to four hour stream. <laughs> Oops. Didn't think that one out. Don't know how long it's going to take to render this out. I'm probably going to have to cut this stream to parts. That's probably what's going to happen. But anyways, we're here with Maya. I love her. She's great. My sis. I could have sworn I heard Mia's voice. So then she's still alive inside your heart. Aw, Maya, you're so sweet. If only it worked that way. No, she's a force ghost. <laughs> the fun of editing. Yeah. It's not too, like, because, because, you know, uh, I have most of the stuff already done and pre-portioned, I guess, on uh, OBS. It's not too hard when uh, editing and stuff like that off of... Vegas, because Vegas sucks, and it crashes every time I do anything. <laughs> Nikki boy! Oh, hi, murderer. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, Mr. Light. 
<laughs> That's good, at least. Is it true that detective is... Here goes my reading skills. Is it true that... <laughs> is it true that detective... Wait, what? Is it true that detective is the real killer? I think there's supposed to be another word in there. To be honest, we don't have any definite proof. But he's the only one who could have done it. But wasn't he at Lordy Taylor that night? Listen, do you want your fucking... Do you want your fucking husband free or not? I don't think you want your husband free. I think you're trying to pin it on him so you can walk free. Not to mention, we don't actually know his motive. Money? <laughs> I mean, why would Detective Atme want to kill Kane Bullard? Oops, it's almost time. Better get back to the courtroom. I need to find some solid proof. And it's got to happen sooner rather than later. Oh, shit. October 14th, 1221 p.m. District Courtroom number six. Now then, this court is back in session. Mr. Look at me, please take the stand. He just looks like Waluigi. He's like, he's hipster Waluigi. That's what he is. <laughs> well, well, how do you do, sir lawyer? I never would have thought to see you acting so recklessly. He does exactly. I couldn't let him hand down your. Ugh, I couldn't let them hand down your verdict just yet. Not when we have. What? God, what is with my reading? It's too early to read. That's the problem. Not when it would have given you your perfect alibi. An alibi by the name of Master Mask. I'm sorry. I'm afraid even the great Luke at me has no idea what you mean. Of course. I have been in the next courtroom ever since 10 o'clock this morning. I'm afraid there's no way I could have I could have known what's going on here. You've been in the defendant's seat all day long, correct? Being tried as masked and mask. Indeed, it's truly child's play to fool the ignorant masses. Not only did the poor fools ask me to protect their valuables, they even gave me a generous reward upon returning their own property to them. Take this red diamond ring that, sh that sparkles upon my divine finger, for example. It's delicious. Hey, Shark. Are you still camping? <laughs> did you get back from that yet? Did the bear eat you? Is or, Did the bear get your info and logged into your Twitch? Is that what happened? Guess who survived the woods? This guy. <laughs> so you continue to insist that you are, in fact, mask to mask. Of course. Oh, but of course. Very well then, look at me. Let us begin with this simple question. On October 12th at 1am, Kane Bullard was murdered. I'm the bear. I stole his info. Did you guys ever see that fucking video? I'm getting off track right now. Did you guys ever see that fucking video though? Where like, dude walks out on his balcony and he sees a bear blow him. He's all like, <laughs> bear can't get me. Then the bear fucking like, ollie oops his way up there and climbs up the balcony. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, what's going on? These bears, they got moves like like the fucking Monstars from Space Jam. Where were you at that time? One without knowledge lacks even the knowledge that he should be ashamed of himself. It's your favorite case, <laughs> Love Rondelite? I love him too, he's great. But don't worry, I will not hold it against you, Sir Judge. Um, thanks. Gotta drink my cup of joe. All right, Mr. Atme. The night of the murder. Speak. God, it's the gulping sounds that get me. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> the gulp whenever he drinks. It's just like, do I need to hear that? Of course I need to hear it. We're all ears. As you wish, sir prosecutor. All right, what we got? The alibi. The Alamo. Remember the Alamo. I was stealing the urn as Master Mask just as I announced I would. I had more than enough time to prepare. It was a pathetically easy job. A photog- a f I was about to say a photographer. Photographer! A photograph contains no words, but in this case, one turned out to be my witness. The time at which the camera captured Master Mask was the same time as the murder. It would sound like it was fun. Hmm. <laughs> Seems like the main point of discussion will be this photo. 
Look at this photograph. Can I say that I un unironically actually like that song? I know it's Nickelback, but come on. <laughs> come on. You gotta, you gotta at least like one Nickelback song. You don't gotta like Nickelback, though. They're jackasses. Well, the main guy's a jackass. Everything else up until now was all part of his plan. There has to be a secret to this picture as well. Even the great master mask cannot be in two places at once. <laughs> it's true, though. Exactly. You can't, you can't hate every Nickelback song. There was a reason why they were popular. Come on. <laughs> now then, if you'll excuse me, I have a verdict to receive. Thought Nick, <laughs> you thought Nick Cage was in Nickelback as a kid. I wouldn't put it past him. He would make a song about the bees. Not the bees! No! Unfortunately, Mr. Atme will still have to do your cross-examination. A fool is too foolish to know that he is a fool. All right. Come on. Don't not. I don't need no replacements for Francesca. She's she's one and only. I think he's trying to say that you're full of it, Nick. The only thing that's full of it is his alibi. All right. Time for my stupidity. One of these days, one of these days, I'm going to make a video. I'm going to make a video of me taking a fucking IQ test because I swear to God, I have an above average IQ, but every time I stream this game, I always do something that makes me look fucking stupid. <laughs> Alright, he's just fooling around. I was still in the urn as Master Mass just as I announced I would. I had more than enough time to prepare. It was a pathetically easy job. A photographer, a photographer, I keep saying photographer. A photograph contains no words, but in this case, one turned out to be my witness. The time which camera captured Mass Mass was the same time as the murder. Hmm. Is that public knowledge? Haven't forgotten the watch. Yeah, I haven't forgotten it either. Every time I look at my fucking analytics, it's like, hey man, did you see this clip about this fucking upside down watch? I'm like, yeah, I know. So. I'm gonna press this because I'm not sure if the murder time was knowledge was like public knowledge about the camera that took no well, probably was public knowledge because he did say it yeah he wouldn't know it he wouldn't know it because fucking uh what's his name said it could die about the camera that took this photograph oh come on now it's all too clear what are you thinking hmm? you think I altered the timestamp on the photograph don't you I didn't say that I'm afraid that's impossible the camera was set up by Lordy Taylor, and on top of that, it was Lordy Taylor's staff that, that printed the picture data. But, it was his, wasn't it his coding that he put into the damn thing? Like, he said so himself. During one of the investigations, he's like, yeah, the equipment belongs to them, but I'm the one who put the fucking, the program in there. Unfortunately for the defense, there's no way the picture could have been altered. I see. Looks like I'd better find something else that could be suspicious. So this alibi is false. It has to be, or you couldn't have killed Billard at the KB. I can't read. But I'm not really spotting anything unusual. There are two possibilities: either mask the mask and the photo is fake, or the photo itself is. Ooh, interesting. Let me take a look at that photo. Let me take a look at that photograph. Hmm. I don't think the photograph's fake. Is he wearing gloves in that photograph? I can't tell. I think, I think those are gloves. No, they don't look like gloves. Also, the box isn't covered in paint. Just saying. Just saying. Listen, I'm not Goku, but I'm just saying. Alright. Still in the urn, just like I announced I would. So the photograph is the proof, correct? Indeed it is. And the man in the photo is certainly wearing a mask. That is why I'm called Masked Mask. But conveniently, also means there's no way to tell who this really is. Wh what do you mean? Objection. Huh. Are you saying that this is not, in fact, a look at me? That it could be an accomplice dressed up as mask to mask to create an alibi? 
Oh, ho, ho, ho. what an interesting idea. Are you saying that I are you saying that I, Lone Wolf, look had an accomplice? Name that accomplice. I'm not gonna name it. I don't think I have enough evidence, right? I should give up. Mm. Ooh. I so want to name the accomplice, but look at me was at KB during the murder. The masked the mask in this picture has to be a fake. And there really was an accomplice. But right now, I have no idea who it was. I don't have any idea either. Baseless objections are just what a guy wants. <laughs> it seems like someone really maxed up. <laughs> oh shit. Alright. I had more than enough time to prepare. It was a pathetically easy job. I believe Adrian Andrews hired you at, at one point. That's right. That was over 20 days ago, if I'm not mistaken. You sent the calling card to Lordy Taylor 10 days before the heist. That would mean you sent the card after you began your security watch, right? Indeed, there was no reason why I couldn't do both jobs at once. It was the perfect opportunity to steal my latest target. I see. You truly are evil, aren't you? Yes, evil is what I am. Hey Nick, isn't there something odd about this? Hmm? Detective Admi was always proud of his ace detective skills, right? But if the urn was stolen from Lordy Taylor while he was the one watching it, he had no way to maintain his perfect ace detective persona. You know, that's true. It's kind of odd. Yeah, but I mean... <sighs> that's another angle to look at it. So, by photograph, you mean this piece of evidence here, is that correct? Indeed, it is. It is that. The very thing that proves I committed the crime. The very thing that proves you committed the crime. Surely, even you understand by now. Lordy Taylor provided that camera. There's no way I could have tampered with it. Warehouse camera. Warehouse camera. Okay. Just seeing, just seeing if it said, if the thing said that he's the one who put up the program for it. Hmm. Strike and oppose. First heist. Buzzer went off. What's this? Second heist. Listen. That means I could not have killed Cain Bullard unless I had an accomplice. Hmm. Come on, think long and hard about this. Well, I'll think long and hard, all right. I'm not gonna tell you what's it about, though. The basement warehouse and the picture that supposedly captures it. It's gotta be here. There's something funny about this picture. You bet your ass there is. Are you implying that this picture is a fake? You bet I am. There's definitely something strange about this picture. We took a look around the basement warehouse that night before the, th bleh, before the theft took place. And there's something in this photo that doesn't match up my memory of that night. Very well. Then let's hear what you have to say. Oh! I didn't know my health was that low! Oops! <laughs> Oops! Ooh! <laughs> Can't save the game now! My bad. I'm gonna say it's the box. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's the box. I also I want to say it's the statue, but you know, the statue is a uh, it was gone, so it's got to be the box, right? Perhaps this is the area in question. This area, could you be any more vague? Huh. Today's Java has a little extra kick to it. It seems that the funny part lies in the area of the defense. Oh no! That's enough. Court has no reason to further prolong this trial. Bullshit. Oh, I can't even... <laughs> I can't even press the start button. Damn it. Court finds defendant Ron Delight. Guilty. Ah, oh, fuck. 
damn it. Yeah, hey, yeah, I get it. Quarters adjourned. Ugh. Do they really want me to bring up the statue? <laughs> Oops. Should have saved my game, but I didn't. But that's why that's why we were that's why we're streaming early today. <laughs> For mistakes like this, I can't always be perfect. Was real life court was this interesting? <sighs> yeah, maybe. Maybe. Probably, yeah. Cause, uh, recently, you know, you know when you go on YouTube and they just recommend you some random shit and they're just like, I hope you want to see these, like, court cases of, like, of, like, murderers just smiling and shit and going like, yeah, I killed that person. And I'm like, no, I don't want to see that, but I clicked on it anyways. I'm just watching it, and I'm just like, I'm like, I'm getting a bad feeling, not because, not because the person's a jackass, but because it's just, it's uncomfortable, I don't like drama like that, you know? There's a video of real life courtroom quotes edited in Ace Attorney, <laughs> oh shit, in real life can be interesting too, yeah, it's like, you know, like, sucks about, uh, I hate saying that it sucks about, I hate saying the phrase it sucks when it comes to something serious like that, but you know, it's bad, right? See the person who's the murderer and they're like, they're like, yep, I did it. And they're all happy about it and shit. <laughs> Cause it's ridiculous, right? But that's still not the part that gets me. The part that gets me is just like how dramatized it is. It's like, did I really need to know this? You know? Like, did, did I really need to know that this guy, like, that this person right here is that much of a jackass? It's like one of those feelings you get when, like, uh, you're watching Unsolved Mysteries as a kid, and then the ending of the, the ending of the episode is like, and then the murderer was last seen right outside your fucking window about a week ago. And you're like, what? <laughs> you're looking out your window, you're like, Oh my god. <laughs> Always depends on the cases too. Exactly. Alright. So now that we save, we can be a little bit more reckless. Uh... God, I want to say he had an accomplice. <laughs> Who was your accomplice? Your accomplice was Mask to Mask. What? Would that work? Would that work? I swear she did it. I swear she did it. I swear she fucking did it. All right. Uh, huh. Let me just press these just in case I fucking needed them for something. I'm not gonna do it just yet. I'm not gonna do it just yet. Oop, wrong photo. Hmm. So we're not gonna talk about the paint stains on the fucking box, because even though, you know, the paint mark is there. Is it the paint itself that they want me to fucking do? Was the paint there when we investigate? Not when we investigated. When we uh went there the like the night of? I can't remember. Did Adrian give us like a time frame as to when she uh Wait, the paint would have been there. Yeah, the paint was there because the statue was there. Right? And the statue was blocking the paint. Alright, so we can go from that angle. Cause we still don't know why the statue was fucking moved, right? Which quote was it? My bad, Maya. I'm sorry. I had more than enough time to prepare. It was a pathetically easy job. A photograph contains no words, but in this case, one turns beyond my witness. Was it this one? Let's see. Objection. 
it wasn't that one. Then it was, oops, my bad, didn't mean to hit that. Did I go back or did I go forwards? I went back. Oops. Alright. Let's see. Maybe it can be the paint sometimes. <laughs> it can be a paint sometimes. Uh, f I'm trying to find which, uh, which quote it was that we used to, uh, but it retains no words, but in case turns out to be my witness. Time which the camera captures mass mass with time. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Still not right. hmm. Why can I? What the fuck? Is there something that I didn't press that they won't let me fucking? That they won't let me examine the photo? Oh, here I go, pr pressing the same fucking statement. Like an idiot. Hmm. Oh, so that's the one about his fucking personality. Time watch camera capture mass to mass for the same time. Fuck it, let me just do it in order. <laughs> Cause now I'm just doing it randomly. And I'm trying to find like the specific one. Bet there's something funny here. Then let's hear what you have to say. Alright. Gonna put this here because that uh statue isn't there. The funny part is right here. Why this? This is a blood stain. Oh, blood. Now this case is getting interesting. Wow, really, Judge? Really? He said, whoa, gore! This is my favorite. Not exactly. This stain is actually pink paint. He's like, I play Danganronpa. I know what pink is. Oh, just paint. And peach colored at that. How the fuck do you know it's peach colored? Oh wait, I just said it was pink. My bad. <laughs> I'm like, the photo is black and white. From blood to peaches, the judge sure loves going on his wild tangents. The problem with this photograph is not the paint. The problem, when you consider the layout of the basement warehouse, it turns out that something that should be there is nowhere to be seen. Oh, oh man. I get all hot and bothered. Poor Phoenix. Yeah, I know, he has to deal with me. I'm the one that's puppeteering him. Well, Mr. Wright... What is supposed to be in this picture instead of that paint? The statue, your honor. The supervisor of the treasure exhibit started the f uh, started stated the following. Well, there was a good reason for that. On the day of the crime, around noon, that golden statue just happened to arrive from the mountain training hall. I realized that the state state statue would be the perfect size for covering up the paint stains. That's why I put it where you first saw it. I myself was there the night the theft took place, and saw the statue in that spot. If this picture was truly taken on that night, then that statue should have been there. But when I went there the day after the theft, that statue of the old bag was sitting in the corner. Hmm, perhaps it was something that was somehow pushed there accidentally. Your Honor, the statue is slightly larger than yourself and quite heavy. It would take more than an accidental push to move it to that distance. Huh. In that case, can you prove it? Once they say that shit, gotta start saving the game. <laughs> can you give us the rhyme and reason as to why the statue was moved that night? 
Can you do it, Nick? Are you ready? In <laughs> the shade from Phoenix. <laughs> Never mind who moved it. The real question is, why did they move it? Well, Mr. Wright, I hope you are prepared with your answer. I'm fucking not. Now then, who is the one that moved the golden statue on the night of the crime? I don't know, but given to the fact that he was sweating... The one who moved the statue is none other than... Look at me! Come now, Sir Lawyer. There you go again on one of your strange delusions. Mr. Wright, what bias do you have for your strange delusion? It's very simple. The witness was the only one in the basement warehouse that night. That is indeed very simple. However... However... Why would I want to move a heavy golden statue? Ah, oh, fucking shit. <laughs> this is where the battle begins. I don't have any health, so every time they say something that's like, they're about to start questioning me, gotta save it. Well, Mr. Wright, what reason did the witness have to move that statue? The reason can be found here in this photograph. Hmm? Look at me. You pretend to be Master Mask. Took, uh, to create an alibi by showing you were at Lord Taylor that night. Lordy Taylor. But this photograph contains a single fatal flaw. If the statue had been there, your lie would be exposed like cheap film at a drugstore. That is why you have to move the statue. A single fatal flaw. Interesting theory. But that's just a game theory. Please enlighten us. Just where in this picture does the lie exist? Ooh. Is it his brooch? Because I wouldn't imagine him moving. Has to be his brooch, right? I'm going to say it's his brooch. <laughs> no ring, maybe? Ring. Um, because it can't be, it can't be the box, because, you know, why would he move the paint stain there? The box has no paint on it, you know, that stuff. I'm going to say it's his brooch. The lie is Master Mask. Are you saying that this Master Mask is a fake? Huh. You know, I really wish you would start acting more respons responsibly. Huh? The current question is, why was the golden statue moved? So what possible connection could there be with Master Mask identity? Ah, oh, buggers. Your face has O oh, buggers written all over it. That's a penalty for you. Fuck! People are ruthless. Listen, when I get when I get something right, can't you just like give me some health? Give me like two pips? <laughs> give me a little reward, you know? Fucking Pavlov's dog or whatever. If I get it right. <laughs> Why is Gadot so cold? Because his coffee's getting cold. I'm pretty sure he had more than 16 cups already. So if it's not his brooch, the reason for moving it, hmm. Can't be the box. I also want to say it might be because he needs the sword out of the shot, but there's really nothing for that. Gotta think. Gotta think on that one. Hmm. Think outside the box. You pretended to be Master Mask to create an alibi showing that you were at Lordy Taylor that night. But this photograph contains a single fatal flaw. If the statue had been there, your lie would have been exposed like a cheap film. That is why you had to move the statue. Single fatal flaw. Interesting theory. So where in the picture does the lie exist? Hmm. I don't... Could it really be the fucking box? I don't think it could be the box. Could it be the paint again? But for what reason? It's 
not mask to mask. Well, there's only three things we can really click on here, right? It's either the paint or the box. And, you know, person himself, so. You know, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. I'm clicking on this box. No, I'm clicking on the paint. Yeah. Somewhere around here. Jump to the conclusions again. I think you need to take a gander in your local mirror. As the Yiddish proverb goes, a half-truth is a whole lie. Keep lying. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. You're lying. You gotta stop. How can I be lying if I'm a tiger? Haha. <laughs> Fucking hell. Phoenix, sometimes you gotta let me in on your goddamn plan. Wait. <laughs> I can do it? I can't do it. Wait a minute. I really hope the timestamp doesn't count as a clue. I really hope. Does it count? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. What, what would the angle from this be right here? I'm gonna go with my gut, clicking on this box. The lie is master ma What? I clicked on the box! Damn it! <laughs> I clicked on the box! Uh. Alright, I'm gonna click on- I'm gonna click on the timestamp then. This is one of the few moments where, like, Phoenix is way ahead of me. I'm not- I'm, I don't even know what he's thinking. Like, Phoenix, sometimes you gotta run this by me. I'm afraid if I clicked on that, they'll be like, what? You talking about Master the Mask? What the fuck? Why? What? Can you hear the gears turning in my head? Because I sure as fuck can't. Why would he need to move the fucking... Why? I can't even check the evidence right now. That's the worst part about this. Think about how this game made me truly believe it could be a lawyer detective. I can probably be a detective. I had a science teacher who uh, who was a detective, but he had to he had to leave because they found out he had color blindness. But you know, he saw he he solved some murders. His first murder he solved in like fucking five minutes, and they were like, "Dude, really?" It really got me boxed in a corner. <laughs> fucking bullshit. Could it be this area right here? No. Fuck! <laughs> if only they gave- if only they gave me a couple more tries. <laughs> well, I got unlimited tries. Damn. I can't even look at the evidence. So I'm trying to prove why would he need to move it. it has nothing to do with the box for some fucking reason. I don't think the timestamp really would help at all. I, I'm actually really stumped here. I don't, Phoenix went like fucking five steps ahead of me without even giving me a clue about anything. Let's see, high school civics, back to be a part of this classroom thing and put way too much enthusiasm into it. Maybe the brooch on the hat? No, but the brooch that was ripped off that they found behind the statue was the brooch that was around here, right? And if I click, if I click anywhere in his vicinity or the box, they go, oh, do you mean the, are you talking about him? And the paint doesn't count for some reason. I'm not sure if this is an area in itself. And I'm not sure if, this, if the timestamp has anything to do with it. Fuck it. We're just gonna trial and error it. Naturally, 
Why is this photo? <laughs> See, I sat there and I looked at it and I said, wait a minute. Are they talking about the timestamp? But I couldn't think about what fucking, like, what? <laughs> I got to know where Phoenix is going with this. I had a feeling, right? I'm happy that I actually got that without even looking it up. So naturally, the lie in this photo is the timestamp. What do you mean? I'll tell you exactly what I mean. On the night in question, look at me went to KB security and murdered Kane Bullard. Therefore, it's obvious. It would have been impossible for him to have been at Lordy Taylor at this time. Okay, what does that have to do with the statue being moved? What does that have to do with the statue being moved? And at the same time, we... What? What angle are you attacking this from? I feel like he's attacking this from, like, backwards. I feel like this is something that you put... That you put later, right? But what does this have to do with the statue being moved? Okay. Remember, if you will, Your Honor. When was the statue placed beside the warehouse door? Well... The statue was taken down to the warehouse on the day of the crime. Yes. And it was placed there in order to cover up the paint. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Look at me had already decided on the time when he was going to kill the victim. And so, in order to create an alibi for that time, he took this picture days before the murder took place. I was under the impression that, that her, hold up, Adrian spilt the paint before she hired him? Because I was under the impression that that happened after he was hired. Okay, well, that would have been nice to give me that little detail. It says it anywhere. Let's see. Broken repaired by Adrian two weeks ago, then replaced in its box. Oh, fuck. I just missed that detail. If I knew that before, that would have been way easier. Fuck! <laughs> Hey, listen, I said it as I was looking at the picture. I said, too bad I can't look at the evidence to help me with this. Listen, I'm not taking the L on that one. It's the game's fault. I refuse to take the L on that one. He took this picture's days before the murder took place. What the? Of course, the statue hadn't yet been brought down to the basement warehouse yet. Also, also, listen. Last time we played this game was like, what? Four days ago? You can't expect me to remember that. You can't. <laughs> of course the statue had yet been brought down to the basement. Fucking Phoenix, god damn it. Ah. Uh, so on the day of the crime, Mr. Atme must have been quite nervous. As nervous as the long tail wait what? As nervous as a long-tailed cat in a rocking chair factory, so to speak. What? Why? Because something that wasn't supposed to be there had been brought down in place where it wasn't supposed to be. And that is a game theory. Thanks for watching. <laughs> it's why I look at me had to move the statue on the night of the murder. Okay. If you were focus if we were gonna focus on that, why can't we also focus on the fact that the box doesn't have paint on it? That would have been an easier thing to do. <laughs> You know, you got an easier way out, and you chose the more difficult one. Phoenix, I want to I wanna hurt you right now. <laughs> he did it to make the room... He did it to make the room match with the way he had, had been in his photo. Gah. Inconceivable. Order. Mr. Atme, is this true? 
Murderer, is it true? No, Your Honor, it's not true. Oh, okay, I guess I believe you. One moment, Your Honor. Have you forgotten this? What's that? The data from the basement warehouse computer. According to this, the camera did indeed go off on the night of the crime. It's true that the camera had been set up by Lordy Taylor's staff. However, the program used to manage the data was yours. I said that earlier. We could- Phoenix! We couldn't avoid this whole entire thing if you just said that earlier. Really? He- Like, again, you're attacking this from- Like, literally, he's entering- the, He's entering a room- He's entering a house from the fucking- from the backyard door and saying, hey guys, I'm here. That alone would have allowed you to tamper with the data. Phoenix is dumb smart. He's smart, but he's dumb. He's smart, but he's being complicated for no fucking reason. Order, Mr. Goddard, what's the meaning of this? Goddard, I warned you about making me wait. Now put that coffee down. My 11th cup. I've promised to drink no more than 17 during a trial. Which means, I'm still good to the last drop. However, the defense has a very good point. A good point. So what? We are all but travelers on this road of infinite points. I'm gonna like, Super Saiyan dash across the room and just like, knock his mask off at this rate. <laughs> You're dragging it! <laughs> You're dragon balling it. I think he's got his points mixed up with his other points. Ooh. So you say this photograph was taken ahead of time. And that the statue was moved in order to make it match. That's a very interesting idea. However, there's one point that can't be denied. Which is... That is only a possibility. Men that are trapped by the change of maybe. That coffee was really gray. That was a real gray shade of coffee. What the fuck are you drink? Are you drinking tar? <laughs> you can never reach their dreams. That's very true. No way. Don't fall for that, Your Honor. Hey, Your Honor, how do? Are your knees fine? Since you're always on them for the prosecution. <laughs> hey, Mister Damask. Yes. If there's no funny business in your actions as Master Mask, there should be no problem with your telling, with eh, with you telling us your strategy. So let's hear it. Yes. Please provide this court with your testimony about your plans to steal the sacred urn, the urn of sacred justice. I first received the request from Lordy Taylor about twenty days ago. The urn was placed in a box in Zavari. It was then sent to the warehouse. Hence, I was actually unable to see the urn for myself until the day of the crime. I knew it was an extremely valuable treasure, so I sent my car ten days before. I then handled security by myself to ensure that my crime would go smoothly. At last, I held the urn in my hands for the first time at 1 a.m. on October 12th. That's pretty much all the stuff we heard before, isn't it? Yeah. But we will find the truth hidden in the nuggets of new information he gave. <laughs> Early stream? Trying to finish a lab report in time? Oh! If you don't mind me asking, what's the lab report about? By the way, welcome back, Breezy. Witness? You're sure, you're sure there's no mistakes this time? Zaveri. Very well then, Mr. Wright. You may begin your cross-examination. You're damn right I will. Alright. Before we do this... Save- save the game! I love how they gave us, like, a fucking... They gave us a, uh... They're like, time for recess, and then I came back still with, like, one pip of health. I first received the quest from Lordy Taylor about 20 days ago. Okay, the urn was placed in the box. It was sent to the warehouse. Hence, I was actually unable to see the urn for myself until the day of the crime. I knew it was extremely valuable treasure, so I sent my card. 
You mean this calling card? That's right. That is, without a doubt, my calling card. I guess Mr. Delight didn't, didn't make this after all. Of course, because Atme knew about the emblem. Making this car, uh, car, making this card, uh, making this card authentic. I couldn't say that word after. Is a physics lab, a physics lab on focus of friction. <laughs> listen, listen. I'm gonna tell you how to get a quick A on that, right? Is your, is your, is your professor male or female? And do you know their sexual orientation? Because <laughs> if you do, assuming that it's male, you can just say, Listen, Professor. As you can see by this here photograph, it demonstrates all the, all the qualities of frictions that you need. And you just find... You just find yourself a nice anime waifu with the thickest with the thickest thighs possible and you say friction and you hand it in instant a instant a that's what i'm saying listen and if and if your professor's a female you get that husbando and you say listen you have you haven't seen friction until you've seen this and you find the thickest Hanzo or McCree you can find. <laughs> Quick A. That's how you get it. Making this card authentic <laughs> would have been child's play for him. I then handle security by myself to ensure my crime would go smoothingly. Listen, it's a genius plan. No one can resist it. All right. I remember I was a. <laughs> I remember uh, in high school we had to do presentations for like health class or whatever on like some report or on like drugs or some shit. And then one of the guys, one of the dudes, got up, put his PowerPoint up there on the screen, and he said, All right, weed. We all smoke it. <laughs> and I was like, Oh, here we go with this shit. That shit was funny as fuck. I was like, I was, I was happy to be there that day. <laughs> all right. Since I was actually unable to see the urn for myself until the day of the crime. I believe that's true. Immediately gets an F. Now, a good thing our, uh, our health teacher was, uh, she was cool. Fucking me and, like, despite, <laughs> despite everyone in that class who was all like, yeah, man, hip hop's my favorite. Like, only me and the teacher knew who the fuck, uh, the Wu-Tang and Rough Riders were. And then fucking I would turn around, look at everybody, I'd be like, really guys, you don't know any about anything about this? <laughs> Sounds like really good a weirdly good presentation. Okay, urn was placed in a box. It was sent to the warehouse. First received the request. Twenty days ago. Wait, what? I first received the request from Lordy Taylor about twenty days ago. What? No. You were asked to guard the urn by Miss Adrian, is that right? Indeed. It seems that they... Oh, my bad. No, I'm thinking about the calling card. He sent it ten days. Ten days after. I see. And you're still attracting the weirdos. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Listen, Phoenix. It's a curse. You better watch out too, Maya. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. You better watch out too, Maya. You got Larry fucking grilling you from over the fence. Extremely valuable treasure, so I sent my calling card. See, the thing that bothers me here is he said, I knew it was an extremely valuable treasure, right? His <laughs> science is temporary, Wu Tang is forever. Like, like, there's the, um, there's the appraisal for this that said it was worth absolutely nothing and that's what's bothering me here about that statement that he's making is there a uh, profiles let me see okay that's what's bothering me about that then had a security myself to ensure that crime would go smoothingly 
glass I held the urn in my hands for the first time at 1 a.m. Hmm. And this is the photo that proves that, huh? You're not really holding the urn, you're holding the box. Indeed, to be honest, even if this photo was taken, I didn't think it would be matter. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't think it would matter terribly much. Hey, Nick, if this photo is a fake, Detective Abney might have stolen the urn whenever this was taken. That's true. You know, he's been saying that he never saw the urn until that night. If we can prove that he's lying there, we can wrap this up and put a bow on it. I need to take a good hard look at the court record. Hmm. Not a long, uh, not a lot to go on in there. That detective's been covering his tracks. There's only one thing we need to prove in the cross examination that he took this photo well before the actual night of the crime. All right then, how do we do that? There's one thing that at me stated very clearly that he had never seen the urn. Yeah, I know, fucking I said it before. We need to prove that he's lying. But I just wanna know like which statement to throw that on, right? Urn was placed in the box, was sent to the warehouse, hence I actually unable to see the urn for myself until the day of the crime. I knew it was an extremely valuable treasure. I think I'm gonna skip that one. At last I held the urn in my hands for the first time. Okay. Mm. Now I don't know how I'm gonna go with this. Either I can do this one. I would assume that this is the one that he knows, right? And the one that he doesn't know, the actual urn, well, quote-unquote actual, was this one. Hmm. Last I held the urn first time in my hands. Could it also be the box? Could the box also serve as that? What a box that had sacred urn in it. There's three ways we can go about this. And we can either do it on that statement, or, or this statement. Hmm. Or we can... Or we can like double, we can do the double press, see if that works, right? Oh wait, I pressed this one already. Okay, never mind, fuck it. <laughs> I don't want to trial and error this. I really don't want to trial and error this. I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna go with this sentence, and I'm gonna go with the poster. I think that'll be a good one. Right? Nope. <laughs> the music didn't stop. That's how you know you fucked up. <laughs> That's how you know you fucked up. Right off the bat. When the music doesn't stop? That's how you know you just fucked it up. <laughs> okay. That's fine, you know, we can make mistakes. So then, it can either be this or the box. I'll try this one. Nope. It's, it's not, it's not. Ah, oh, this, this is embarrassing. <laughs> I promise I'm not stupid, guys. I promise. All right, I'm gonna try the box this time. If the box doesn't work on this one, then I'm doing it on the wrong statement. That has to be it, right? I just wanna take another look at all this shit. All right, yep, it's the wrong statement then. It's the wrong statement.
Either it's the wrong statement or I'm fucking stupid. It was extremely valuable treasure, so I sent my calling card ten days beforehand. Let's see. Security. Wouldn't you think that? Well, he knew it was an urn. Okay, so never mind. Never laid his eyes on it. I'll, I'll try this with the exhibit poster, right? Huh? Maybe I'm overthinking it. I think there's two things about when he held the box for the first time, so maybe one of them is a lie. Yeah, I'm just like... I'm not sure if I was just getting... Alright, let me try the other two pieces of evidence with that one sentence. Actually unable to see the urn for myself until the day of the crime. Yeah. By the way, welcome back, Bula. I might just be choosing the wrong statement. Knew was extremely valuable. Broken, repaired by Adrian, kept out of sight. I don't think this is it. I don't think this is the right combination. Yeah, that doesn't fit. It just didn't feel right. That one just really didn't feel right. I guess I'll start pressing everything. Maybe I gotta do like a double press or some shit. Urn was placed in the box. It was then sent to the warehouse. Hence, unable to see the urn for myself until the day of the crime. So you're saying that you had never seen the urn before? Indeed. May I ask Lady Andrews to confirm for yourself? My security was focused entirely on the entrance to the warehouse. However, I look at me, let no information whatsoever slip through my fingers. Car. Held the urn in my hands for the first time. And this is the photo that proves it. And he's not holding the urn, he's holding the box. But I put the box for that statement, but that didn't take. I didn't think it would be me uh, it would be terrible. Wait. Secret urn, pink stains on it. Was it in the... Huh. I'm trying to think. When she was polishing it... I think on the... Like, I'm trying to really remember back during the investigation was, uh... When they were, um, looking at things, see if it was real or not. It was the genuine one. She put it... Did she put it back into the, uh... Into the, um, whatchamacallit? Wait, of course she did, because he fucking had it. Let's see. Hey, Nick! This photo is fake. Took at me, might have stolen the urn whenever... Uh, might have stolen it whenever this was taken. That's true. You know, never saw the urn until last night. Until that night, my bad. Hmm. I am taking a good hard look. Covering his tracks. Gotta say, I am liking this trial, though. It's making me think. Yeah, never seen the urn before he stole it. Okay. Need to prove that he's lying. Dude, I... I feel like this... I swear I feel like this is the fucking... This is the evidence that I need for this. It's goddamn... It's goddamn poster for the exhibit. Hmm. Urn was placed in a box. Sent to the warehouse. It's so I actually unable to see the urn for myself until the day... 
Oh. I was unable. Would that count towards that? Hmm. Phone died out. <laughs> That's okay. Don't worry, you missed absolutely nothing. So that wouldn't work there either. See, what I was thinking for that one is because he said he was unable to see it. And it's like, how can you be unable to see it if there's fucking posters about the damn thing? But I guess that doesn't count either. Was unable to see it. A becoming probably most priceless work of art on display in your treasure exhibit. Take good care of some. Okay. See, that one bothered me too, because in the picture it says he's holding a box. If you were unable to see it, how'd you know it was in a box? Like, there's different angles you can... I'm overthinking this. I know I'm overthinking this. Have to head to bed. Thanks for having me. It's great to meet you. Thank you for stopping by. I greatly appreciate it. Sorry that I couldn't get as far. You know, couldn't get that far while you was here. But, it'll be in the VODs. <laughs> I'm not sure. But have a good night. Take it easy. The schedule's up for, like, the rest of the stuff. So if you wanna, if you're interested in any of that, well, if you can, then, you know. You know where to find me! Handle security by myself to ensure the crime goes smoothly. Yes. At last, I held the urn in my hands for the first time. I believe that part. <sighs> Fuck. Wizard, second highest. Adrian dropped the urn two weeks ago. She also knocked the paint over. Fuck, man. This one's really getting me because I know I'm overthinking it. It's probably something like really fucking simple. Extremely valuable treasure, so I sent my card ten days beforehand. gonna start just gonna start fucking pressing everything then handle the security by myself I believe that's the truth no one entered the basement of the warehouse unfortunately there were many different treasures being taken there thus for a period of approximately five days people were indeed going in and out of the warehouse mm. You're not gonna add that to your testimony? Okay, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. This is the photo that proves it. Okay. Think it would matter terribly much. I know the photos are fake. I'm gonna steal the urn whenever it was taken. That's true. It's been saying that I saw, never saw the urn until that night. We can prove that he's lying there. Treasure of Curian exhibit. Take good care. This one doesn't really... doesn't say what he's taking. Warehouse camera went off. Photo of the storeroom entrance taken on the camera. Yeah, it has nothing to do with that. Strike and oppose. Torn off cloth, time of death. Buzzer. Stealing direct blackmail letters. Not a lot to go on. Shit. Before the actual night of the crime. 
Alright then, how do we do that? One thing that at me stated very clearly that he had never seen it. The paint marks on the ground in the photo. See, that's what I was thinking with like using the box that has paint marks on it. Because in the photo, the box doesn't have paint marks on it. Right? Fuck, man. I'm actually really stumped on this one. Holy shit. I was actually unable to see the urn for myself until the day of the crime. I'm so, like, I'm really mad that this doesn't work for it. I'm pretty sure the poster put up in the fucking museum that you're being security guard for that says, here's the urn, would work, but it doesn't. And this note is too vague. It just says I'm gonna steal the precious treasure, right? Of the fucking, of the Korean exhibit. It doesn't say I'm gonna take the urn, right? And even if you are a security guard for it, like, and they, you don't have to know it's an urn, they can just say, oh, the exhibit is the fucking Korean exhibit or whatever, right? So that's too vague. Taken by the entrance on the night of the can night of the crime. I don't think this would really help much. Hmm. I'm really stumped. Anybody got any hints for me? Like, fuck. <laughs> Like, we're at that point. When Adrian dropped the urn two weeks ago, she also knocked over some paint. Yeah, but she said no one was there to see her drop the urn. So... Unless he was staking it out, right? Maybe he was there staking it out? Could that work? God damn it. Guess that one doesn't work either. Well, that one wouldn't work either because he was, uh. Huh. Fuck. Is it the photo? Could it actually be the photo? God, this is so bullshit. <laughs> this is bullshit. It's killing me on the inside. Broken and repaired by Adrian two weeks ago, then replaced in its box. Keep that kept out of sight. We have to prove that he saw the damn urn. Is there anything in like the profiles or whatever? Ace Detective had had knowledge that he is in fact Master Mask. Uh Fuck man. Could it could it really be the calling card? What? Dude, isn't this the most vague shit ever? Like, listen. Listen. I've done security work for exhibits and shit, right? And if you were to ask me what the main part of the exhibit was, I would straight up be like, I don't know, but I know the exhibit is about horses or some shit, right? It doesn't say I'm coming for the urn. It says, I'm coming for the most valuable piece or whatever. Just be like a generic thing he threw out there.
I swear to God, I swear if Phoenix's way of thinking is how would you know it's the valuable piece without looking at the fucking poster, then why wouldn't the poster work? <laughs> God. All right, Phoenix, what are you thinking about? What are you thinking? With Where are you going with this? Mr. Admi, if you really are masked mask, then you also wrote this calling card, correct? But of course. Is there a problem with that calling card? Allow me to read a passage from the calling card that Master Matt has written. Take a good care of that speckled earth. Did I really not see that? You know what? I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna take the L on that one. That one I'll take the L on. Because when I was reading it, I didn't want to stay on it for too long, so I skimmed through it with my eyes. And I didn't see the word earn. Like my brain autocorrected to like to like take care of the speckled piece or whatever. You know? I'll take the L on that one. That one was all me. The other one wasn't me. This one, me. Surely refers to this pink pattern on the on the sacred earth. Fuck me. Yes, that is true. But so what? Truth be told, there's no way that Master Mans could have known about this pattern. It's the watch all over again. Yep. Where I skim it, where I look at it, and then in my head I'm like, that don't make sense. But I'm not looking at I'm not really looking at it, you know? What do you mean? This pink spotted pattern on the urn is actually nothing more than paint stains. Paint stains. And these stains did not appear until after the urn had been taken to Lordy Taylor. <sighs> I'm not finding this joke to be very funny, Mr. Trite. The day that the sacred urn was taken to the warehouse, the urn was broken due to the human error, or should I say, an error prone human. That's unnecessary, Phoenix. How dare you? She's precious. You must protect her at all costs. <laughs> and that's when the pink pa that's when the pink paint got on the urn. You can't be serious. And yet this calling card clearly mentions the paint pattern. Which means Detective Admi had had seen this urn long before the crime ever took place. In fact, he saw it when he faked this photo. Roast a fucking eight-year-old in the court. What? See, now you're gonna take the L for that. Cause Adrian's not eight years old. Now you're taking see now now the chat can't make fun of me. Make fun of him. He did it. Look at that. See, me, I missed a word. You looked at a whole grown woman and said, that's a child. What? <laughs> Thought we talk about Pearl. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and because this photo is fake. <laughs> Your alibi for the night of the murder no longer holds water. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> this goddamn trial got everybody acting stupid right now. <laughs> Do you have anything to say for yourself? I plead the fifth. All right. That did it. He's broken. Um, Nick? I think it's still a little early for victory pose. Huh? It happens to the best of us. <laughs> so sad. No one has any conviction these days. Conviction, you say? Yesterday, we all decided unanimously... I mastered that word, by the way. I, I can now just spit it out. Any other time, I'll be like... Uh, unanimously, <laughs> Unan uh, unanimously that this man was masked to mask, and now we're calling him a murderer. You don't think we're being a tad fickle? I'll tad your fickle, fickle your tad. I don't, I don't know what that means, but I'll do it. That's a good point. No way, don't fall for that too, Your Honor. You say that look at me was the one who killed Kane Bullard. Then let me ask you this. Why would he do that? An excellent point. Oh. 
Motive, Mr. Right. Motive. Might you, uh, might you, wow. Might you my Mary, what? Might you my Mary murderous motive manifest. That doesn't even make sense. Nick, he's getting his second wind. He's getting his golden wind. If he prepares for an alibi and pinned his crime on Ron Delight, as you say, he must have a very strong motive for murder. The only one who's... The only one who's any... Wow. The only one with any motive we've seen is Ron Delight. Isn't that right, Detective? Indeed. According to my own research, the boy's motive is clear. Without a motive, it's nearly impossible to prove guilt in a murder case. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. Judge, can I see your papers? <laughs> now then, maybe you can enlighten us as to what the defendant's motives are. Like, if the, like, if we were on some real lawyer fuckery shit, we'd just be like, his motive is that he's evil. He likes to kill. And it's just like, eh, good enough for me. It's good enough for a jury. It's good enough for me. <laughs> He'd be honored to, uh, I'd be honored to, sir, old timer. They're doing everything they can, they can to make Ron look suspicious. Despite our lack of hard information, this may be our only chance. Alright. Let's see how, how fast we do this one. I, look at me, had no points of contact with the victim whatsoever. Kane Bullard decided to investigate Mask to Mask and simply mistook who he was. It was Mr. Bullard who wrote the blackmail letter and sent it to Ron Delight. How do you know that? And it was, again, Mr. Bullard who harbored a grudge against Mr. Delight for his betrayal. Mr. Bullard's mistake is quite excusable. The defendant truly believes he is masked to mask. That is why Mr. Delight saw it, <coughs> saw it fit to kill Kane Bullard. Truly a tragedy. So the victim, Kane Bullard, blackmailed the defendant? This is the blackmail letter found in the defendant's apartment. A handwriting test confirms that Mr. Bullard was indeed the one who wrote the letter. What? Wait, so now it's a... Huh? Very well, Mr. Wright. Begin your cross-examination. Wait, so is it... Is it like a double cross going on here? Was... Hold up. Hold up. What's going on? I look at me head... Okay. Wait. Hold up. The fact they're saying that he wrote the letter is now fucking up my theory. Because in my mind, I'm like, oh, it's his wife that wrote the letter and just threw it next to the bed. So that means... That means at me and Kane were working together. Right. They had to have been. Uh... And then, at some point, Desiree's part of this shit, right? At some point, she might have just came up, either said, Hey, at me, let's kill Kane, frame it on him, make way with the money. Or maybe, maybe she's actually a good guy. <laughs> or something. I don't fucking know. Alright. I look at me, had no points of contact with the victim whatsoever. I find that to be bull shit. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna be upset. Really? Come on, man. Really? 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 That's what we're doing? That's what we're doing? Okay. And who in the world is gonna prove that? I will. After doing a thorough background check of Detective Atme and Kane Bullard, we were unable to find any links between them. It's on the report. I just showed the link between them! Perhaps they were connected through their work? They were both involved in security. Nope. Really? That was blunt. In any case, the only one with the motive was Mr. Delight. Dude. What? 
that's just that's such a lie <laughs> whatever all right game i'll i'll play your fucking game even though there's clear evidence that shows there's a fucking connection like you tell me you tell me this isn't a connection come on come on Whatever, game. I'm too smart for you. Cain Bullard decided to investigate mass to mass and simply mistook who he was. Hmm. Get more information. Mistook. That's right. Mistook. From the Old Norse mistaka, meaning to take an error. Mistaka. Hmm. That wasn't what I meant. Just who did this victim mistake mass to mass? Oh, fuck. Mass to mass to be. Why, the answer is obvious. Ron's in line, of course. Boy, I like to wipe that smug look off this guy's face. Press harder. Why would the victim mistake the defendant for mask to mask? Don't you already know that? It's a vet. Take a look at this newspaper. You mean the one that links you to him? What the fuck? Is he using my own evidence against me? <laughs> oh no, that's the famous tear of... I still can't say that word. A magnificent jewel. The photo shows a magnificent, def uh, a magnificent detective as well, does it not? Furthermore, it also shows an ugly guard named the Defendant. Namely, the Defendant. The Defendant? The victim clearly misread the article in Zavati. He got the wrong impression. The impression that this ugly security guard was in fact mask to mask. Hmm, I see. That was unusually reasonable deduction. Can I double- can I double press that? Cause now you just admitted that you were near the uh, the security agency. Hmm. Nope. That was blunt. Any case. Alright game. Whatever. Alright game. Bullshit. You wrote the black light letter and send it to Ron Delight. That may be true. And it was again Miss Brillard who harbored a grudge against Mr. Delight for his betrayal. Miss Brillard's mis uh, mistake is quite excusable. The defendant truly believes that he is mass to mass. Because he is! This is why Mr. Delight saw it fit to kill Kane Pillar. Mm. Alright. Let's just keep pressing for now. Get as much information, squeeze it out, like fresh fucking orange juice. You mean this blackmail letter right here? This one right here? It says bring 50,000. And the handwriting is without a doubt the victim's. There's no mistake, we have an official report to prove it. But I don't see an address on this letter anywhere. An address, an addressery. This letter was discovered in Ron Delight's apartment. Mr. Delight did show up at the designated place in time. The fact that there is no address C is irrelevant. I wonder. What's up, Nick? What's up is you're about to make me prove some dumb shit with some dumbass evidence. That's what's about to happen. <laughs> I just had a thought. What if the blackmail letter wasn't meant for Mr. Delight? Whoa. Do you have any evidence of that? For some reason, I just can't shake the feeling that there's something not quite right about this blackmail letter. Well, everyone, are you quite fast fascinated? Are you quite satisfied? <clears throat> okay. Let's take a look at the contents. Let's read it word by word now, since I fucked it up last time. If you don't want your true identity revealed to the world, come to KP Security at 1 a.m. on October 12th and bring 50,000. If you don't, I'll take that red diamond you received the other- He's... he's wearing... He's wearing a red ring. That's... He's wearing a red ring. He's wearing a red ring. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Okay. It was again... <laughs> it was again, Mr. Bullard. Because before, the only, like... I was thinking about his ring before. The only thing they talked about, the red diamond, was like... I guess the first thing that was stolen, I thought that was the red diamond or whatever, but you know. Alright. 
It was Game Mr. Bullard who harbors a grudge for his betrayal. What do you mean by that? Oh my, I was certain you were you were already aware. Zaveri! KB Security had a lot of security info on all sorts of companies. And since I was a security team chief, I stole data from the company. Kane Bullard had to forgive young uh had yet to forgive young Mr. Blight, which is why he sent him that letter upon mistakenly believing he was a thief. There's a file that dis that we discovered in Mr. Billard's office. Evidence that Mr. Billard was receiving money through blackmail. Hmm. However, isn't that a bit odd? Why did the defendant pay Mr. Billard the money? Even though he wasn't actually mask to mask. Oh, that point? There was an unfortunate bit of chance. Okay. Mr. Billard, mistake, <clears throat> mistake is quite excusable. The defendant truly believes that he is mask de mask. Hmm. Do you really think that story's gonna hold up? That assertion is not merely my own, I'm afraid. What do you mean? I have here a memo from Ron Delight's wife, Desiree Delight. Excuse me? Ronnie thinks he's masked to mass. Don't you feel sorry for him? Please don't think too badly of him. Lady, what fucking- whose side are you on? Was he trying to act like Miss Delight just now? I thought he was actually pretty convincing. God. <laughs> I love her too, she's great. Okay, let's see. That is why Mr. Delight saw a fit to kill Kane Biller, truly tragic. Hold that one, buddy. Now that you're just imagine- Wow, what? <laughs> now that's just your imagination talking. Come now, Sir Lawyer. I'm afraid imagination isn't the right word for it. This is deduction, the result of careful applied reasoning. Can we hear that careful reasoning for ourselves? It's a long story and better saved for another time. Hmm. Very well, another time. Those so-called long stories aren't usually all that long. At least not in my experience. So you're gonna try to connect Detective at me to Billard, right? Yeah, that's right. Hopefully it won't require surgery either. In that case, you'll have to talk about the blackmail. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we don't have enough information, we should press him for more testimony. Did I not just do that? Did I not just press every fucking sentence we just had? Did I not press this one? No, I did. I pressed this one. Simply mistook who he was. Mr. Bullard wrote the blackmail letter. Bullard who harbored a grudge against him. Mr. Bullard mistaken quite excusable. I'm pretty sure I just literally pressed every statement and we got no further testimony. Besides like the thing with Mr. Light, but that's not added to the testimony. I'm gonna press this again. You mean this blackmail letter right here? So it's bringing 50,000. Yes. And address C. Letter was uh, discovered in Ron Delight's apartment. Hmm. Just had a thought. The blackmail letter wasn't meant for him. Do you have any evidence of that? For some reason, I just can't shake the feeling that there's something not quite right about this blackmail letter. Well, everyone, are you quite satisfied? So how do I... How do I go about that? Talks about the red ring in there. Aren't there also other blackmail letters? Was stealing as directed by blackmail letters. Can we use this? Hmm. Alright, I'm just gonna press this on 
I'm just gonna press it on this, see what happens. Okay. What if I ask you a few questions, Detective Atme? Well, if it's just a few, I guess it's alright. When you said that this letter was addressed to Ron Delight, I couldn't help but notice one major contradiction. C contradiction I don't know where... Uh, wow. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know where a walking contradiction lets you get off saying things like that. You want to talk? At times like these, men are made of express... Wait, what? Ma men are made to express themselves with their fists. Why don't you show us where you got... Oh, fuck. Here we go with this shit. <laughs> here we go with this shit. Indeed. Time to man up, Mr. Wright. I'm gonna fucking hurt you one day. One day, I'm gonna be solving your fucking murder. Show us the contradiction and evidence. Uh, evidence in the con- Wait, what? <laughs> Show us the contradicting evidence in the content of the blackmail letter. Uh, the red ring? Like... What, what am I supposed to press on that? Do I press at me? What? <laughs> I thought they would put like a multiple choice up or something. Right? O okay. <laughs> I'm actually really confused about that. Shows contradiction evidence and the content of the blackmail letter. Let's see. If you don't want your true identity revealed to the world, come to KB Security at, at 1 a.m. October. He said he got fired. He got fired, right? Okay, he still made his way into the room, though. I'm just thinking, like, usually when you get fired from a place, you hand in, like, your key cards and shit, but whatever. Uh, 1 a.m. October 12th, bring 50,000. If you don't, I'll take the red diamond you received the other day instead. Let's check out these files. Okay. Used to work for a guard. I'm thinking. I'm really thinking on this one, actually. He's a fact mask to mask. Let's just let's just go with Luke. Let's just go with Luke. See what happens. Huh. A little two one punch like that would have faced me. I think you mean one-two punch. Mr. Wright? Are you fucking kidding me? Try thinking things through. Ah, oh, fuck you. No, no. Damn it. <laughs> I was trying to load it before they gave it to me. I'm so... Then I guess we'll click on Ron, because it said that he received the ring the other day. Whatever the fuck that means. But he doesn't work for him no more, so... It's the only thing I can think of, right? Ah, nah. Uh, it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> it's not that. That's so weird. That is so weird. Found a building around when I am in the crime. Found a Ron's wallet used on October. A shot of Master Mass, straight in pose. Do do death. Burst heights. There's no fingerprints. Found on table of crimes. Buzzard went off. Shows the contradiction. Ron's wife hate criminals and cowards more than anything. Found his body. His body was found in the safe. What the fuck? <laughs> Thought they would make this easier for me. I'll take that red diamond you received the other day instead. What would I choose to prove that? Maybe that's not what I'm trying to prove. 
Don't want your identity revealed to the world. Come to KB Security at 1 a.m. Rank 50,000. Show contradiction evidence in the contents of the blackmail letter. I'm actually... What the fuck? But contradicting to what? Two over twelve, bring fifty thousand. If you don't, I'll take the red diamond you received the other day instead. Would... Would this work with it? Would this work with it? Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Definitely not. I wish they would tell me what exactly it is I'm trying to contradict here. You know, let, just for shits and giggles, let's just see what happens if I just do that. Yeah. It's, you know, like... Usually this part where they're like, here's your multiple choices. This one, they're like, show evidence. On contradiction through here, is it the fucking, is it the binder? And it's not the fucking binder. This fucking, this trial is fucking me up. That's what's happening. That's what's going on right here. This trial has just hit me from every angle possible. Flashy thief who steals valuable works of art sends a calling card before a heist. Yeah. Yeah, this one's got me. This one got me again. <laughs> what is with this fucking trial? This trial is just... Punch me in the face. That's what's happening. It's a blue diamond. Could this work? But that was like weeks ago. What? That was like fucking three heists ago. So long ago that that shouldn't even be relevant. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Take a good look at this newspaper clipping. It contains a picture of the tear of, I can't say that word. It's a blue fucking sapphire. The stolen jewel. What about it? The problem is that this jewel's color. Color? I'm not much for discussing color myself. Racist. According to the clippings, the color of the stolen jewel, <laughs> color of the stolen jewel is blue. Take it away, Phoenix. We're all fucking lost. However, in the blackmail letter, a total different jewel is a totally different jewel is mentioned. I'll take the red diamond you received the other day. Yeah, but here's the thing about that. Right? We're talking about, we're talking about, we're talking about like now, at least the past twenty days. That fucking heist happened like months ago. <laughs> red. Which means the red diamond described in the blackmail letter is not the tear of whatever that Master Mask stole at, at all. And your point is, Mr. Trite? So, you're trying to say that the blackmail letter was intended for someone else. By the way, isn't that tri a trial? Isn't that case the, fir the one where Atme came back with the item? Isn't that... Isn't that that one? So why would he even say anything about... It? What the fuck? Phoenix, you're doing this the difficult way, man. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> So you're trying to say that this blackmail letter was intended for someone else. That is why you're trying to- that's what you're trying to say, right? 
what is <laughs> that's what you're trying to say right mr right well is that what you're trying to say all right everybody get off my fucking back yes <laughs> this whole cane bullard was actually this wow this whole this who this is who cane bullard was actually blackmailing <gasps> to him naturally it was you detective at me do you do you have some sort of bias for that claim I don't know you want to lick your fucking ring you have been personally involved in every single mass to mass case and in the last case you recovered what was stolen oh the last case I thought it was the first case and received a jewel as your reward where was that information at? A, a jewel. Probably the one wrapped conspicuously around your finger. That red diamond ring. <sighs> That's the diamond referred to in the letter. Which means that Cain Bullard wrote that letter in order to blackmail you. <sighs> you wound me. Order. Order in the court. Um, order, I say. It seems you've gone too far with your childish pranks, Mr. Trite. Uh-oh. I don't like the way he says that. Kane Bullard blackmailing look at me. Are you for real? Y yeah, I am. Nick, come on, stand up to him. Then answer me this. The blackmail letter contains the following passage. If you don't want your identity revealed to the world... Yes, it certainly does. Kane Bullard threatens to make look at me's identity public knowledge. An identity he wanted to keep a secret. So just what was that identity? Had me killed had me killed Kane Bullard because he was afraid his secret became known. Fuck! <laughs> what was the identity? What was the identity he was... he wanted to keep secret? This is what it's all come down to, Nick. The identity that look at me wanted to desperately keep secret. A blackmailer? Look at me? Was a blackmailer. <gasps> hey now, isn't that a little different from what you've been saying? You said that Cain Bullard was the one blackmailing look at me. Are you saying that at me was blackmailing someone else on top of that? Uh, you have to admit, that does sound a, a little odd. It's not odd. It's the only thing that makes any sense. Kane Bullard was blackmailing look at me. But Rhonda Light was also being blackmailed by a certain someone. So, did you start receiving blackmail letters after the incident? Yeah, just a few days after the tear of whatever the fuck it's called heist. After that, I started getting the plans in the mail. I received plans from some kind of, some very kind person, incredibly detailed plans. Detailed plans? In which case, that would mean that Ron Delight was actually masked to mask. That is what we're claiming. Someone else came up with the plans and had Mr. Delight steal his targets from him. And that someone was none other than Luke Atme. Silence. Yeah, I'm not doing the laugh. <laughs> now I see. It's all becoming clear. What is? When you were in grade school, you received the same report card every year. Careless, with the tendency to jump to conclusions. Am I wrong? <laughs> How did you? You say that I, look at me, was blackmailing Ron Delight? In which case, I would actually know all about his relationship to Master Mask. Well, yes. Ron Delight started receiving blackmails from his second crime onward, correct? Which means I learned of his identity when he committed the first crime. Good point. You certainly could have blackmailed him otherwise. In that case, let's see some hot, bitter evidence. Fuck. I'll pot bitter your evidence. During the first crime, how did Luke at me know that Ron Delight was masked to mask? Well, a fucking newspaper clipping. 
I think I see it. See what? When you were in grade school, you received the same report card every year. Gets into lots of mischief trying to make the center of attention. What? What do you mean? This newspaper clipping. It has a picture of you and Ron Delight in his guard uniform. It seems that Master Mask didn't just disappear into thin air. He just took off his outfit and hid it in a bucket. That, that sounds far too stupid to be true. Correct. With tricks like that, he couldn't fool a baby, let alone an ace detective. And that's when you figured it out, Mr. Atme. That's when you learned that under his mask, Master Mask was really Ron Delight. What the? Wasn't he supposed to be Master Mask? Not only that, but it looks like he wasn't even an ace detective. I can't believe it. He was just a slimy blackmailer? What a fraud! Trying to pass himself off as an ace detective. Why you? How dare you expose me like that? Why I... I mean, I've never blackmailed anyone in my life. I'm a famous and proud detective. And almost... And also Master Mask. Why can't you understand that? I'm afraid you were neither a proud thief nor an ace detective. You're a blackmailer and a murderer. That's your true identity. Wh Why you? How dare you even dare imply- Oh fuck. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh god. I need an adult. So, so gone. What? So goon? What do you say? He still had an accomplice, though. Oh, wait, no, he didn't. My bad. He tucked the pic. Wait, so Desiree is actually, like, not evil. I call bullshit. It would seem we finally arrived to a real answer. That was quite a performance, Mr. Atme. Bailiff, please prepare a cell for Mr. Atme. What the fuck? What do you want? The hammer that strikes too fast has no time to aim. Get out, what the fuck? What do you mean? I'm already prepared to deliver my ruling. Allow me to say one thing. I will be the one to judge. No, I didn't judge me one, no! You don't get much more in your face than that. It appears that your claws aren't quite sharp enough, Mr. Trite. What? What did you say? It's true that you've proven a lot of things. Things like Luke Atme was a filthy blackmailer. And that he wasn't, a, he wasn't at Lordy Taylor the night of the murder. That's right. That's why he's the one who killed Mr. Bull. But... There's still one thing you have yet to prove. What's that? Just because he wasn't at the warehouse doesn't mean he was at the murder scene. Therefore, if you can't prove that this pitiful excuse of a man was at KB security, then I don't see how a verdict can be delivered. No. <laughs> no way! Jackass! Order in the court. Well, Mr. Wright? Piano part kills me. I fucking love I love that jazz. Love it so much. This is it. This is the final round. I gotta prove that at me was at Mr. Blood's office on that night. But can you really prove that? That's long enough, Mr. Trite. I wanna hear your answer. That night, look at me was at KB security and the defense. Shadow of Amy Face statue of torn off cloth. <sighs> Found table of the crime. Buzzer went off. Mm. 
Fuck! I don't think the sword can help us with anything, right? I don't think I can prove it. I don't think I can prove it. I can prove it. The defense can prove it with evidence. Are you sure? Huh. Don't you worry, I'll watch over you. As you break down and fall to pieces. Very well then, let's see this proof. Proof that Luke at me was at KB security that night. Larry? My friend picked up Ron's light wallet while working on the night of the crime. It's found in the safe. Warehouse camera went off. Knocked at me out during. Uh, storage room. Blackmail. Blackmail. Comes to KB security at 1 a.m. 12. If you don't, take the red diamond you have. I still don't think this would help. Cerebral hemorrhage from blunt trauma to the head. Maybe? If we can tie this to the... If we can tie this to the sword... Maybe. There's no fingerprints on it? No. The buzzer went off. Fuck, man. I'm gonna try it. This is the proof. I feel like I was wrong. Yeah. It's true that it's very that it is very important. However, I'm not foolish to think yeah god. Then I guess I'll try the sword then. If not, then I don't think I have the evidence. Yeah, no. I don't think I have the evidence for this. Warehouse, store photo. I have to prove that he was there. And I don't think I have the evidence for that. No. I can't prove it. Just as I thought. But, if we hear more of Detective Atme's testimony... Unfortunately, that's as far as you go, Mr. Dright. What do you mean? I won't allow for any more testimonies, that's what I mean. What? Have you forgotten? Luke Atme is here after we interrupted his own trial. And you have failed to prove that he committed the murder. I think it's time for this witness to return to his own trial. And face his guilt his guilty verdict as master mask. No. Well now, Sir Lawyer, it would seem that love wins out in the end after all. I am the ace detective as well as Master Mass. My verdict will verify that. Just as Ron Delight will verify that he is the true murderer. I declare that with the full force of my ace detectiveness. Order. Order in the court. That's enough deliberation over this witness. I can't believe this. 
At this rate, Ron is... Don't give up now, Nick. We still have tomorrow. We can look for more evidence there. We don't have tomorrow! Why well, then it'll be too late. Huh? Why? He's gonna get a... He's gonna get a solid-ass alibi. Double Jeopardy. One of the basic rules of any court of law. Double Jeopardy? Should a defendant be tried and found innocent in court, the defendant cannot be tried again for the same crime. This is a fundamental rule of all courts, and it applies to this witness as much as it applies to anyone else. Mr. T Mr. Atme will be found guilty in a matter of minutes. Guilty as mass to mask, which means he will be innocent as far as the murder of Kane Bullard is considered. No way. The fact that you were able to prove, prove Mr. Atme's guilt of the crime here means that he will never again be tried as Kane Bullard's murderer. What? Damn it. Desiree, please show up, something. And there's nothing I can possibly do to win. Even if Ron is proclaimed to be innocent, the real killer, look at me, will go free. We have cross-examined every statement the witness has made here today. And as long as there is no more testimony, I'm afraid I have to declare that there will be no further questioning of this witness. And there, are there any objections? Then I hereby end the cross-examination of Luke at me. I think I see it. Your Honor, when you were a child, this is what was on your report card every year. Has poor hearing and often makes mistakes as a result. <laughs> How did you? Phoenix, raise your head up high. Have you forgotten what I used to tell you? A lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how bad it is. Mia! Is that you? You came back from the grave. That voice, no way. Long time no see, Phoenix. <laughs> Mia! Master Kenobi, you're back. <laughs> this is the true power of the Kirin channeling technique. I know that this is really Maya who's standing before me. But right now, she's my mentor, Mia Fey. <laughs> Hi, Mia. I miss you so much. <laughs> now let's do this. <laughs> But there's nothing more we can do, Mia. Without any more testimony, I can't cross-examine. Not yet. The testimony's not over yet. W what do you mean? Your Honor, just now you said something very interesting. You have cross-examined every statement the witness has made here today. Yes, that's true, but... Unfortunately, Your Honor, you're forgetting something. Earlier, after the last cross-examination, this witness made a number of remarks. Well now, Sir Lawyer, it seems that love wins out in the end after all. Oh! I'm the ace detective as well as master Matt. Just as Ron Delight will verify that he is the true murderer. I declare that, that with the full force of my ace detectiveness. Yes, but these comments appear to have no importance whatsoever. We're looking for motives! Very well, then we shall prove their importance. At any rate, as long as the witness has made these remarks, we the defense, we defense assert our right to question them. Is that alright with you, prosecutor? Is something the matter, Mr. Gadot? Come on, drink your coffee. Uh, nothing. Oh, sir, lawyer, it looks like you're one step too late. If you think such falsehood will do anything to look at... Let's hear it. Huh? It's true that the witness made some remarks. So then, let's hear this last bit of cross-examination. Mr. Gadot, what are you... Very well then, Mr. Look at me. I'm gonna allow the defense to cross-examine your earlier remarks. The defense would like to hear why you declared the defense to be the true murderer. So please, give us one last bit of testimony. Uh, 
Phoenix, this is it. This is our absolute last chance. Y yeah, Chief. Yes, Mia. I do as you say, Mistress. Indeed, it's true that I was not at Lordy Taylor. I had to leave to see a, about another vital important job request. I had known about the date beforehand, so I had this photograph relayed. My brilliant deduction was what informed me that the true culprit was Ron Delight. And thanks to the key card and wallet, it was abundantly clear that he was there. I was also able to make a deduction from the buzzard, which only, which only sounded once. The button did not have any fingerprints on it. Why? The victim... <sighs> Sorry, I yawned. The victim who had left prints, uh, if he, wow. The victim would have left prints if he sounded it, which means the killer sounded it. Mr. Delight was wearing gloves, his mask to mask outfit, which is, which is why he left no fingerprints. And the blackmail letter? The victim likely just mistook the color of the jewel. Zavadi. Therefore, all the evidence points to that poor boy. That poor unfortunate soul. This testimony actually seems to hold up pretty well. The witness earlier remarks did not appear to have been hastily prepared. All these points have been explained, and none of them seem to contradict anything. But of course. But how did you know about the emergency buzzer? The police investigation documents went directly through me. But how did you know about him losing his wallet? I always looked over all the documents. It's elementary, said so lawyer. Hmm. Are you going to make even more trouble for us now, Sir Lawyer? I will not allow any of your your usual shenanigans, Mr. Wright. Oh, fuck me. Here we go with this shit. You're telling me I can't press anything? Y yes, Your Honor. We cannot postpone Luke Abney's trial any longer. This is your last chance. And hang on a sec. Just one chance? <laughs> it seems that the party's about to begin. Well, Phoenix? There isn't any evidence that contradicts with the testimony, so it would seem. What do you mean, so it would seem? Listen, Phoenix, point out contradictions. It doesn't always mean you have to present evidence, does it? At any rate, this is our last chance. If you can't point out a, a case-breaking contradiction, you lose. That's all there is to it. God damn it. Cup number 17, the last cup. It seems like the time has come to put an end to this trial. I have to find a fatal contradiction in this testimony. And I need to point it out without presenting any evidence. Which means all I can do is find the contradiction remarks and press it. Remember, you only get one chance. Only one chance to press? Ah, oh, fuck! Very well then, Mr. Wright. Please begin your final cross-examination. Okay. All right. All right. I've been doing this with one pip of help the whole entire time. I'm at a severe handicap. Okay, let's see. Indeed, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to lead to see another little important request job. Well, we can't press that. Now about the data beforehand, and it's photograph related. My brilliant deduction was informed. Sorry, that was another yawn. Was what informed me about the true culprit. And thanks to the key card and the wallet, I'm mentally clear that he was there. The wallet bothers me. I don't know if he ever knew the fact about the wallet. Well, he was there for the for the trial. Damn. I was also to make a deduction from the buzzard, which only sounded once. But and did not leave any fingerprints on it. Why? The victim would have left prints if he sounded, which means killer sound. Okay. Mr. Delight was wearing gloves, which is why there's no prints. You're also wearing gloves, but for some reason I feel like they're not going to take that. In the blackmail letter, the victim likely just mistook the color of the jewel. Therefore, all the evidence points to that poor boy.
I feel like this isn't- I feel like this isn't it. I feel like this isn't it. I feel like this isn't it. But I'ma do it. You can't stop me. Cause one thing bothers me here. Mr. Atme, how about that last mark? No, 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 you stop. You don't get it, dudes, right? This isn't the time to be pressing the witness on every little statement. No, 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 no. You shut up and you drink your coffee. What? I said this before. There's still one thing you haven't proven. That this scum was in Kane Bullard's office that night. And now, it's time for me to drink my last cup. Chug it down! Mr. Wright, I'll hold you to your end of the bargain. Really? Oh. That's what I had to prove? Ah, oh, fuck. The angle I was going with was the poor boy remark. It's like, how would you know about his, how you know about his money problems like that? Thought I would catch him on a technicality. <laughs> Thought it. Thought wrong. Ugh. Damn it. Okay, so we have to prove that he was there. Well, will the, will the wallet one help out then? Fuck. Or maybe this one, but... Hmm. Found, but only found by Larry, right? I feel like he would know this information, but I'll try it. Mr. Atme, about that last remark. Okay, yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, I can't even fucking... I gotta go through the whole thing. It's just instant. They won't even let me reload it. Oh, fuck me. I mean, if, if we really want to do this the right way, we can just trial and error it, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna think about it. Put our brains together. Right? Feel like I can't press him on that one. I had known about the date beforehand, so I had this photograph ready. My brilliant deduction was inf uh, wow, is what informed me. Thanks to the key card and wallet, I was also able to deduce from the buzzard, which only sounded once. The buzzard did not have any fingerprints on it, why? Victim went left fingerprints sounded it, which means killer sounded it. I want to put this one because he wears gloves, but that was a point that we made like earlier in the trial. So I don't feel like they would, uh. I don't feel like they would work. But we can try it. Mr. Atme? About this last mark. Yeah, okay. Alright, yep. Yeah. I can press options on this one, though, for some reason. It's time to be pressing the witness on every last statement. I'm afraid you're the one who still doesn't get it, Mr. Gadot. Wh what Mr. Atme, it seems you have finally admitted that you were in the CEO's office on the night of the murder. How can you say that? Come on, man, how can you say that about me? I thought we was friends. I thought we was homies for life. Let's review your testimony, shall we, Mr. Atme? The button did not have any fingerprints on it. Why? Mr. Delight was wearing his Master Mask outfit. Is that correct? I indeed. That's what I said. My deductions are absolute, f absolutely foolproof. More like, we, more like your deductions prove that you are a fool. I, I'm sorry? Whatever do you mean? For some reason, I'm starting to get really thirsty. 
for that for that spiky phoenix peen well <laughs> when actually wait when actually did we learn the fact that ron delight was dressed at mass to mass when he went to the scene of the crime he said it himself that was um it was just a few hours ago but he pulled the danganronpa move exactly which danganronpa is it V3? If it's V3, then you're good. <laughs> then, then we're gonna stop there. If it's the other ones, then maybe I might have an idea. Is it the first one? Are you talking about the first game? Back when my six cup was looking, uh, back when my six cup was looking at me with a cold stare. One? Yep. Okay, I know. I know the trial you're talking about. Yep. Huh? Oh, did I forget to mention it before? I'm sorry, I just never had a chance to mention it up until now. That's right, the defendant had yet to tell anyone else this fact before this morning. Therefore, oh, I thought that was at the other trial. Oh wait, no, yeah, no, I'm stupid, I'm sorry. This is what happens when you play the game fucking four days apart. I'm getting those trials mixed up. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, no, definitely. Therefore, the only person who should know that uh, were those who have been watching this trial, and he was in the other room. Hmm. Did you understand now, Detective Atme? There's no way that you should have known about that. Uh, uh, you wound me. You were in the night. You were in. Wow. <clears throat> You were in the next courtroom, being tried as mass to mass. So then enlighten us. Just how did you know about that piece of information? <sighs> well... Come on. This detective must have known about it. He probably had plenty of chances to find out beforehand. And it's those chances that I want to discuss next. That night, Mr. Delight was wearing his mass to mask outfit. There's one and only one way for Detective Atme to have found that out. Only one? One way, you say? Uh, please recall, if you will, Mr. Delight's testimony. When I entered the office, there was a suspicious shadow there. For a second, my client witnessed the real killer. But Mr. Delight never saw his attacker. So there's no way to tell whether or not the real killer was look at me. It's with the statement that I'll turn this case on its head. J just what are you implying? Mr. Delight saw the real killer, correct? Now, if you turn the statement around, it stands to reason that the real killer had also seen Ron Delight. Impossible. <gasps> Detective Atme, you saw Master Mass at the murder scene that night. You saw him when you killed Kane Bullard and assaulted Ron Delight. That was the only way you could have known wearing, uh, what Ron was wearing. Fuck. I almost had it. I almost read it perfectly. Is there, is there a nuke going off? What? What? Uh-huh. Take a good look, everyone. Unable to find a rival worthy of my genius, I was forced to create one by myself. Here I am, the Tragic Clown. That's the same line you gave yesterday. <laughs> His final form. And this isn't even my final form. But I think there's a little more meaning behind it this time. <laughs> What an awful complicated incident. Dude is unhinged. <laughs> Kane Bullard was blackmailing Luke at me, who was in turn blackmailing Ron Delight. Oh, so Desiree didn't have a part in it. And upon killing his blackmailer, Luke at me tried to frame Ron Delight. He then claimed to be guilty as Master Mask in order to escape his true crime. 
And to the end, and to that end, he came up with his plan to use the double jeopardy rule when making his alibi. Um, at any rate, it was I was seeing he. <clears throat> it was seeing he finally found the truth. Excuse me. I'm assuming that's wrong. <laughs> I can precisely close this benchmark. Uh, this benchmark besmirching the record of an innocent young man. Besmirching him with the title of murderer. Don't ignore me. Oh, I didn't realize you were there. Why would he be? Um, about the verdict. I know you never committed any murder. That's right. I'm so glad you understand that, but uh, I am. Um, I really am master mask. Huh? So thanks to that trial yesterday, I'm innocent right now. Huh? What? What did you say? Double. What did you say? Double jeopardy. Now that you mention it. Ah, oh, he got away with it. <laughs> what? <laughs> I've been careless. Careless. What do you think? What do you think, Mia? As the defendant says, the rule of double jeopardy is absolute. As the defendant can never be tried twice for the crime in which he was once found innocent. Then, Master Mass is really innocent? It would seem so. For now. For, for now? Now then, this court finds the defendant not guilty we're doing another trial with this motherfucker oh my god uh, is boy this is real lucky uh, I this isn't so good after all you see the thing is I still am master mask oh come on man you did well Phoenix Thanks, Mia. S thanks, Mia. It's been a long time, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's because Maya, Maya doesn't call on me much these days. Oh? I'm just joking, Phoenix. Don't take everything so seriously. But on the other hand, Maya, she seems kind of torn these days. <laughs> Is it because she loves me? <laughs> you mean about becoming the master of Curing Channeling School? Becoming the master? It means saying goodbye to our mother. Misty Fae. So we're gonna find her this game, right? Like, come on. Watch over her, will you, Phoenix? Of course. Well then, see you around. Mia. Uh, Mr. Wright. Um, I, uh, I don't know what to say. Congratulations, Mr. Delight. Th th thank you so much. Uh, no, wait. Nothing really matters anymore, though, now that all of... Come on, just be happy already. Maya. You've been cleared of the murder charges and got off as Master Mass to boot. But, in exchange, I lost everything. Huh? What do you mean? Stealing security information from KB Security became ma becoming Master Mask. I did it all for one reason. For her. You mean your wife, Desiree? She hates criminals more than anything. Come to think of it, she was once held hostage by some robbers, wasn't she? She always said how she hated sneaky criminals. I knew that, I knew that, but once I got fired from KB security and lost all the money I had, she wouldn't have had any reason to stay with me. I thought she would leave me for sure. So that's why you became Master Mask. Yeah, it was all over now. A broken bowl can never be put back together. That's not true, right, Nick? Right. R really? We can go back to the way things were? It'll be fine, and Nick can prove it. I, I can? Wait, wait, my bad. I can. <laughs> I gave, <laughs> gave Phoenix the shaky voice. I'm gonna fuck this up. I'm gonna fuck this one up, too. Mr. Delight. Even if a bowl is broken, there's always a way to put it back together. With the power of... This. I don't fucking know. Do we have like a... Hates criminals and cowards more than anything. Oh, he's a criminal and a coward. <laughs> what the fuck? What am I supposed to do? 
If a broken bowl is broken, there's always a way to put it together. Uh, uh I don't know. Like, it's, it's kind of a bowl. Uh, what the fuck? What are you guys on about? Like, I don't see, uh, I, I, I guess the sacred urn. Desiree was the one who found this. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that part. Yeah, Desiree, your wife, she always believed in you, Ron. That's why you'll be fine. You don't have to worry about a thing. <laughs> there you are! Mr. Light. You did it, Ronnie! You're innocent! I'm so happy! Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. But, uh... I suppose you don't want anything to do with me, do you? Ronnie! Why did you talk to me about what was going on? I had no idea you quit KB security. I never imagined that you were really master mask either. Mr. Light. What are you gonna do now that you know? You're not gonna... You're not really gonna leave him, are you? Come on, it's obvious, isn't it? How could I ever let a wonderful man like him get away? After all, my bike's really fast. So fast that there's no way he could ever get away. Hmm? But didn't you say that you hate criminals? And cowards? Oh. I only hate people who act all cowardly and sneaky. Like that detective. I see. My Ronnie went and declared his crimes before he committed them, like a man. I just love a man who is <laughs> so chivalrous. Chivalrous? I knew I was right about you. Every day I spent with you is filled with thrills and excitement. <laughs> Desiree. Desiree, you really do love Ron, don't you? Nikki boy. Yes. I'm really glad I asked you to defend my Ronnie. Thank you so much. I'll never forget what you've done for us. Oh, well, uh, take care of yourself. You too, Nikki boy. I'm getting paid, like, double for this, right? Like, I know he's broke, but we can we can work out a payment plan. You know, just saying. Just saying. I can feel my face getting red. Mr. Nick, Mystic Mo- Oh. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> Talk about a bad timing. Mr. Nick, how could you? With another man's wife in front of Maya? I'll never forgive you. Oh god. I just really get knocked out by a child? So, just as the case came to a close, so too did my consciousness. <laughs> wow. Man, I'm surprised Desiree wasn't... Alright! Way to go, Desiree! Don't know why she had to tell me she was fucking having a car chase with the cops, but... Alright! Ron said a broken bowl can never be put back together. But I know that's not true. I mean, just look. Oh, that's adorable. Is there... I don't want to press the wrong button. Is it square? Is it triangle? What button is it? Is it... Is it this one? That one. Damn it. It's gotta be a button for like, uh, hiding the fucking thing. Damn it. Can't be circle. I mean, just look. The boss is so fucked up. Oh my god, exactly. It's just, they're like, look how beautiful the, look how, look how many times we defiled grandma's ashes. Isn't that fucking cool? He's a perfect example of one that was put back together even better than before. Oh, well, there you go. Nah, options would only bring up the menu. The stolen turnabout. I'm about to fucking turnabout. Oh my god, what is this? She's... she's 18, right? <laughs> 
We can we can show this, right? Would you like save your progress? Fucking of course I will. <laughs> All right. This is a good time to remind people if you don't have BTTV, you should get that so you can have access to emotes. And that's all I have to say for that. That's enough! This court sees no reason to further prolong the trial. This case is extremely clear. I see no room for misinterpretations of the facts. It, it wasn't me. I swear it wasn't me. The evidence and testimony we have seen and heard are all conclusive. The victim was alone at the table when he drank- What? No, you're wrong. I know I saw- I saw- I saw someone else there. A man. He's the real killer. Why won't anyone believe me? Well... I say that pretty much wraps up this case, wouldn't you? Mr. Wright. <laughs> oh, God. This court finds the defendant... Guilty. Am I having a nightmare? This court is adjourned. Alright, before anything else is said... Right? I always thought, I think I said it during the last Phoenix Wright, uh, during Justice for All, I always thought that there was a, a case where we would have to get a guilty verdict and also a case where our defendant was actually the culprit. So are we getting guilty verdicts here? Did we fuck up? Ah, the start of a new year always makes me feel like I can take on the whole world. I bet it does, Maya. So, I decided that our resolution should be Zavetti. Take on the world. What do you think? Sure, whatever, Maya. But I think maybe you have more than enough mistletoe cake. Never! You gotta eat a lot of cake during New Year's. It's practically a tradition. Like watching the fireworks on TV or playing a board game. Hey, pal. What? Detective Gumshoe. Happy New Year's, Detective! Huh? Likewise. Now listen up, right? I wanna. Here's another. Here's to another fruitful year of lawyer police cooperation. Um, yeah, me too. Alright, pal. You got some explaining to. Have you got a holiday present for me, Detective? Uh, uh what? Well, uh, hi. Here, have this. It's really not that much, but. Yay, thanks! Look, pal, we need to have a talk. Take a seat. Hey, what about Pearly? You haven't forgotten her present, have you? Uh, no. I mean, yes. I mean, no. Are you doing this on purpose? <laughs> Guess I'm busted. How'd you like my first practical joke of the year? Very funny, pal. Very funny, pal. Now, let's see how funny you think, th how funny it is when I show you this. What is it? A magazine? Hey, I want to see. Deadly poisoning brings guilty verdict. Defense attorney Wright trounced? Tr trounced? Let me see that. The defendant's attorney gave an almost childish and amateur performance yesterday. What the hell is this? It's a report, pal, about you. Listen to this. Mr. Wright must take full responsibility for the ruling in this case. Well, and don't tell me you don't remember anything about it. But I don't remember anything about it. When, when was it issued from anyways? Mm, December of last year? Which may, which I guess makes it last month. Which makes it old news, you mean. But I wasn't involved in a poison case in December. Hmm. 
So, what do you think this is all about, Nick? If it wasn't you, pal, then that leaves only one possibility. No way. You don't mean... A pho... A phony, Nick? It was my evil twin brother. Rick. I don't know. <laughs> this must be Gumshoe's idea of a joke. Guess he's starting off a year with one, too. So, what are you gonna do about it, pal? What do you mean, what I'm gonna do about it? Well, it's your fault that the judge found the defendant guilty and gave- It's not my fault! My fault? How do you figure that? Because the Phoenix Wright is super famous now. Well, maybe only sort of. If we're super famous, where's my fucking money? <laughs> yeah, see what happens when hotshots start getting too full of yourselves? But I didn't do anything wrong. At least not that I can remember. You better make this right, pal. Now. And that means taking the case taking the case back to court. Got it? Sounds like we got our first case of the new year. Let's tackle it with gusto. I don't know. The judge already issued a guilty verdict once in this case. It's not gonna be easy to get it overturned. I guess the new year's resolution is gonna have to wait until next year. So, you're taking the case, right? Good. I'm gonna head over to the courthouse then. After that, I'll go back to the precinct. Drop by if you need something, okay, pal? Well, nice that Gumshoe cares about us. Still haven't seen Edgeworth yet, is he? Wait, is Edgeworth still, like, out of the country? For this long? What the hell is he doing? I guess people are starting to know the name Phoenix Wright. I'm still broke as shit. If a client entrusted a case to me based on my reputation, I guess I'm kind of responsible. But why would someone want to impersonate me? What sort of guy would do that? Whew. My throat is feeling it right now. Holy shit. As I'm recuperating <clears throat> and drinking some water. Now is a perfect time to remind you guys. If you're not followed, think about it. Right? And if you feel like subbing, maybe you might want to do that. If you have Amazon Prime, maybe you might want to swing that, that over here. You know? And get BTTV because you're going to need it for the emotes later. All right. Let's continue. What do we do? Any ideas? Uh, nah. Let's just head out. Crime Affairs Detention Center. Well, who's our client? January 6th Detention Center Visitor's Room. That's so nerve-wracking, waiting to meet our new client. I wonder just what kind of person you tricked and got found guilty. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Maya. Keep it down, Maya. This kind of talk could ruin me. Uh. What?! Is the bird lady. How could you, Mr. Wright? How could you do this to me? They put me in solitary. I've never been able to stop crying. Aren't you? Yes. I'm totally and utterly let down. You're, you're uh... Don't pretend you don't know me. It's me, Maggie. Remember Maggie Bird? Maggie Bird. Ah. Uh. Maggie Bird. Is it pronounced Bird, right? It's not like Bride or something like that. It's Bird, right? Saying the policewoman I defended, uh, she's the policewoman I defended that one time. She was accused for murdering her lover. He was a cop, too. I'm happy to see Maggie again. I wish I saw more. I thought, I thought, okay, so it is pronounced Bird. Okay, I thought, when we first saw her, I thought that Maggie was going to be like Gumshoe's little sidekick. But she wasn't. <laughs> and that made me kind of sad. What are you doing here? Did I, give you, did I give you a quit? Oh, sure. Very funny. After that fifth-rate defense job, you came in here and started making jokes. You better hurry up and tell her what happened, Nick. Oh, I see. So, 
And that's where we stand right now. I'm sorry you've been caught up in another murder. My whole life has been nothing but a whirlwind of bad luck and failures. I vaguely remember her saying the exact same thing last time. But I don't mind. What's one more disaster in my life? At least now the real Mr. Wright is here with me. I won't let the world keep me down, sir. Aww. What the fuck? What the fuck is with everybody we know always being involved in murders and shit? Like, you barely get any new people. <laughs> like, we're all fucked. And actually, there's only like 20 people who live in this city. Half of them are dead now. Alright. Tell me what we got, Maggie. So, how come you dress like that, Maggie? Last year, you looked so sharp in the police uniform. Huh. I was fired after that incident last year. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I don't mind one bit. I enjoy being on the force, but I think it was time for me to move on. So, what do you do now? In the second act of The Life of Maggie Bird, I'm playing the role of a waitress. A waitress? Yes, in a French restaurant. It's a small place, but it's quite fashionable. My charming smile and sharply f and what? <laughs> My charming smile and shapely figure came through for me. And the owner, Mr. Armstrong, hired me straight away. And then you got into this mess straight away, huh? Yeah, you could put it that way. Who's the victim? Don't tell me it's your boss. What happened? What happened? <laughs> this whole mess started on the 3rd of last month. And it happened at Tres Bien. Tres Bien? <laughs> Tres Bien? <laughs> yes. It's a restaurant where good service and friendly smiles are always included. Oh. <laughs> Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Wait, what? There were two men at the table, both drinking coffee. And then... He said, let me put a little bit of fucking pizzazz in that shit. Yeah. Twinkle it up. One of the men slipped, something, uh, slipped some poison in the victim's cup. The victim took just one sip and was gasping for air. I was so shocked, I passed out. Hey, hold on there, Maggie. What? <laughs> Salt bay. The case is so crazy. Oh god, I hope it doesn't sit here and make me look stupid. <laughs> you keep calling the guy the victim. Did you know the guy who was killed? Not at all. I've never seen that guy before. Oh. So, she wouldn't have had a motive to kill him then, I guess. And the other man, the killer, you saw him, right? Of course. A good waitress must be attentive to the client clientele. So you saw the killer, but you were found guilty of the crime anyways? How come? You tell me, Mr. Wright! I guess the answer is my question. Uh, guess the answer to my question is my phony. Anyways, she saw the killer. Better see if I can get a description of the guy. So... If you saw the murderer, why would you still why were you still convicted? <laughs> Not gonna say nothing. Because no one else saw. Saw what? The other man, the one who put the poison in the victim's coffee. Everyone testified that way that way. Mr. Armstrong, the customer, everybody. The victim was sitting alone at <clears throat> What the fuck? Oh god. <laughs> I turned my head to like, I turned my head to like clear my throat so I don't cough directly in the mic and then my dog is just like tilting her head towards me like, like expecting something. What do you want? Why do you always do this? You've eaten, you went outside, you're fine. Stop doing that. Get away. Go. You got a whole, you got a big ass bed over there to yourself. The victim was sitting alone at his table the whole time. But how's that possible? I don't know. But nobody, not one person, will believe me. Even Phoenix Wright, my own last hope for a fair trial, failed me. And Dog does the same to you? Exactly. It's like, like, every time you're doing something that, that you're like, 
focused on something, the dog just walks up and it's like, Hey, you gonna, you gonna feed me? I know I just ate like two seconds ago, but you wanna like, you wanna like give me something to eat? I mean, I'll grab my coat right now. We can go out. Even Phoenix Wright, my own last hope for fair trial, failed me. What a pathetic defense. My granny could have done a better job. Look, that wasn't me, okay? And then, they found something a bit incriminating in my apron pocket. What? A small bottle of poison. What? Poison? It was in your pocket? Well, I passed out when the victim collapsed. The killer must have split the poison into my pocket when I was unconscious. Dog is ridiculous. She lays in bed all day till you come home. Yeah. Oh man, what's up? I swear, I don't even need an alarm. I don't even need a fucking alarm clock no more because my dogs just yell for no reason. Like, if you heard them the way they just yell in the morning, you would think I was strangling one of them. And I'm like, and what happens is it wakes me up. I'm like half awake and I'm like, shut up, go to sleep. And then I go back to sleep. And then they start whining and barking again. I'm like, shut up. And I do that for like 10 minutes until like I'm forced awake because the dog just gets louder. And then I'm like, oh my fucking God, <laughs> leave me alone. Dog likes to climb on top of his crate and just camps there judging me. No one else saw this other guy? No, sir. That's what everyone said, but I don't see how they could have missed him. Damn. So what about this other guy? I was the one who took the coffee to the two men. Oh. And what was your impression of them? Well, when I first saw them, I kind of thought they might be in the music industry. In music? How come? Well, one of them had some sort of earpiece and an emo, and an emo musician looking about <laughs> What? And an emo musician's look about him. And there was a sample CD on the table. Then as I tried to walk away, they grabbed my arm and said, Oh, you want to buy my mixtape? <laughs> Come on. You know, New Yorkers got to stick out for each other. You want my mixtape? <laughs> Yo, let me, let me give a mixtape to a fellow brother. <laughs> Half off. Just for a fellow brother. The amount of time, the amount of times I have somebody fucking in the city just like stop me. Like, yo, bro, what's going on? You want to get my mixtape? Come on, you know, we gotta look out for each other. He's fellow brother. <laughs> I'm like, get the fuck out of my face. I'm gonna buy your dirty mixtape. <laughs> Fucking out of here. Uh, an earpiece and a <laughs> an earpiece and a sample CD, huh? Did you get a look at the CD at all? It had a band's name written on it. I think it was MC something. They must have <laughs> MC MC Driller. They must have been preparing for something for their dear uh, for their debut or something. So it was a band CD, maybe a promo disc. Maybe it was MC Screwdriver. I was close. Get serious, Maya. Would you buy a CD of a group name that? Eh. Uh, what was the name again? MC Hacksaw? No, MC. What about the killer? What do you look like? Well, I, uh, I don't really remember. Only that he was young man, well put, uh, well built like the victim, really. <laughs> MC, MC Screwdriver. All right, is that, is that it? Aw, she, she looks up at you. I didn't realize that. That's adorable. She's adorable. Oh, yeah, I need to ask you about this. Hey, that article's about my case. Can you tell me anything about the guy who was pretending to be me? Yes, sir. It was the morning after I had been arrested. I met you in the visitor's room here. You were wearing one of your sharp, one of your super sharp suits. Me? Yes, you, Mr. Wright. Uh... Hey, Maggie. Who's my evil double, um... <laughs> what? What the... Uh, I can't say that. I... I... Fuck. I... <sighs> I am? Uh, I, I am? Maya, you're fucking giving me a headache. <laughs> no, I don't remember a phony you, Maya. Oh, 
Oh, that would have been so cool. That you that you got really worked up and passionate. I'm gonna get you cleared. Uh, I'm gonna get you cleared this crime. I'm gonna get you cleared this crime. Okay, I get the picture. But you met me in person before. So how come you didn't realize that Kai wasn't the real mate? I guess, looking back now, it was a little strange. Only a little. Well, okay, so you were a bit taller than normal. And you looked a bit shady. And your voice was a bit weird. Oh, and you had this kind of funny accent. So the guy was nothing like me then. But he had your slick hair and blue suit. Is that all it takes for someone to imitate me? How about everyone else in the courtroom, like the judge and the observers? Did they realize he was an imposter? Everyone had this big question marks on their face, but it seemed that no one wanted to say anything, sir. This case just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Mr. Wright, do you think it's possible to get a retrial? Probably. The court ruled in the absence of a genuine defense attorney. So, we should be able to get a retrial. Mr. Wright? Do you think we'll win next time, sir? Next time is my first time! My life has been a full course meal of bad luck, completely, uh, complete, with a, uh, complete with a defeat for dessert. Since I was six months old, when I fell from the ninth floor of my apartment- What the fuck? I've been hit by all sorts of vehicles, gotten sick for- Oh my god. Failed at almost every test I've taken. Exp yeah, but you didn't fail the police exam. You did that. That's that's cool. I even landed a phony lawyer when I had the misfortune of being accused from murder. But I will survive because Maggie Bird always lives to fight another day. And one day I'll find it. Just you wait and see, sir. I'll find the one single moment of good luck. Is it what? What? Sin? What? Uh huh? What the fuck are you saying, Maya? Zinhof? 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 I can't say that. It's really gonna pay for this. Who the fuck? What are you staring at me like that for? But Maya's right. Whoever it is that whoever it is that thought it was a good idea to use my name and get an innocent girl convicted of murder had better watch out. We'll find him. Don't you worry. We'll get Zin. I want the fuck. Listen, I guess she's trying to say Phoenix backwards, but ain't gonna happen. Thank you. I'll tell you wh where Trace Bien is. Trace? Oh, right. The restaurant where the murders are place. Yes, sir. Where you go? When you go, please tell Mr. Armstrong I said hi. Sure. All right, Nick. Let's get. Let's go check out the restaurant and its food. I feel like I'm gonna go there and be like, hey, Maggie said hi. He's gonna be like, oh, Maggie? Yeah, tell her she's fired. <laughs> Next time you see her, tell her she ain't working here no more. Aw, it's pretty in pink. I like pink. What the fuck is this music? Oh my god. Is that the owner? <laughs> oh, is that the owner? Wow, look at this place. Look, more like smell. With the suffocating scent of flowers in here. Then again, girls like that kind of thing, right? Actually, I'm not all into it. No one's coming to see us. Maybe there's no one here? Don't be silly, Maya. This is a restaurant, and it's open for business. Hello? Anyone here? Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? I don't believe it. There really isn't anyone here. Perfect. Let's get intrusive. If there's no one here, we can take anything we want. Yeah, I suppose we can't. Wait, what? <laughs> he said, I guess, uh, you win this time. I, I guess we'll steal. I was in this room so much when I played the game, made a little dance in my head. Oh, God. I believe it. Oh, my bad. I didn't mean to press that. Examine. Look at this motherfucker. What is this? Is he supposed to be like an angel? What is this? It's a rack full of fashion magazines. Or as the cool kids say now, zines. I don't fucking what? <laughs> they're all they're all in French. Why don't you try wearing something a bit more cheek sometime, huh, Maya? 
Yeah, I guess I could. I'm always in my alkalite clothes, aren't I? It'd be fun to wear normal clothes every now and again. Hmm? Something stuffed between the rackets. It looks like a sports paper to me. Hey, look at this. Someone scribbled a little doodle on, on the page. Finally finished work. Can now enjoy the entire street. <laughs> also just finished this project I was doing. Me? I fuck... Alright, so... I'm pretty sure I said this in a stream before. I'm working on a fucking video for, like, some stuff for My Hero Academia. And I've been putting it off for so long because it's just such a pain in the ass to work on it. But, fucking... Yesterday, when I was just, like, re reviewing through stuff, right... I saw, I saw, um, like, as I was doing that, I was, as I was looking through stuff, right, I went to Crunchyroll, clicked on Crunchyroll, and it said, watch my hero right now, watch new, the new episode, I'm like, new episode, and if, I was like, like, I haven't watched my hero since, like, the ending of the third season, because I read the manga mostly, um, and where I left off, they were about to start, like, you know, this big, this big thing, whatever, um, but, you know, the anime wasn't caught up. So fucking, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, wait, isn't season four over? And then I looked at it, and it's like, oh yeah, uh, at the end of March, season five started. I'm like, fuck, man. I gotta finish this video, because then I'm gonna have to do more research. And it's gonna piss me off. And then, as I'm looking at this shit, it's like, by the way, we announced another movie. I'm like, what the fuck? Come on, slow down. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. I believe my hair is supposed to be coming to an end in general, like in about a couple of years, maybe like three more years, two more years or something like that. It was supposed to end like a while ago. But anyways, <clears throat> hey, look at this. Someone scribbled a little doodle on one of the pages. What's the doodle? MC Bomber. Oh, that's good. I like that. MC Bomber. And one, two, three, four, five zeros. A hundred thousand dollars. Get some of that mucho dinero. I wonder what MC Bomber's supposed to be. And then fucking Bomberman just walks in. This paper. It's from December 3rd. This paper from the day of the poisoning? What? Well, wasn't that a stroke of luck? The paper from the day of the murder. This has got to be a clue. Look at the corner doodle. Oh yeah, like the little guy. Was it mask to mask or some shit? Or was it, or was it fucking, or is it supposed to be Balan from fucking Balan Wonderland? He's like, guys, don't forget about me. I know my game is shit, but come on, I look cool. <laughs> Master Mask is in the corner. I don't know. He's like, <laughs> I have come to steal your hearts. You will love me. I can't examine this? Damn it. I want to examine it. All right. Oh, no one's here. Quick, the money. Look, it's one of those magical box that spits out money. You know, you're the only person who would ever describe a cash a cash register in that way. Listen, no one's looking, right? There's got no cameras around here. Just take it. <laughs> take it. This must be the table where the murder occurred. I guess so. With all the police tape all around it. Wait, this happened a month ago and they still didn't clean this shit up? And that stain must be from the poisoned coffee. Don't go licking the tablecloth, okay, Maya? Why would I lick it? I'm not a cat, you know. I don't believe that. I don't believe that, Maya. Not for one bit. Why can I picture you just doing that? <laughs> I have an image in my head of like a chibi version of Maya just like drooling over something. Like, I don't know, fucking... <laughs> I don't know, like... You know what I mean? Like, like, uh... <laughs> Fuck, how do I explain it? Like, when, like in a cartoon where there's, like, a kid eating a lollipop or something, and they're just, like, their mouth is on top of the lollipop, and they're just drooling over it, and they're just, like... They're not really eating it, they're kind of, like, just sucking on it. <laughs> and there's, like... <laughs> and just drool coming everywhere. It's like a little chibi version of her. Yeah, a hamburger, probably. <laughs> Something like that. 
All right, what's this? This looks fancy. This table's set nicely. This just needs a customer. What do you think this flower is, Nick? Let's see. Well, it doesn't look like a tulip, and it's not a sunflower, I don't think. Duh, even I can tell you that. Well, those are the only kinds of flowers I know. Dag, <laughs> Dag Nabbit, I'm a lawyer, not a botanist. Darn tootin'. What's this? Oh, I can't check that? Huh. This restaurant has partitions that separate the tables. When, you see, when you're seated at a table, you can only see the table to your right or left. Okay. That's nice information to know. Wow, it's beautiful winter wonderland out there. Really? Cool, I love snow. Let me see. Huh? It's not white, it's not even snowing. Gotcha. I was just kidding, Maya. Nick! There's lies that are okay to tell and lies that definitely aren't. All I did was tell an itty bitty white lie about non existent white snow. Hmm. Well, let's check this. Look at all the little trinkets tucked away in here. I bet Mr. Armstrong collects all of these personally. Let's see a banquet of flowers, some. Some papuri. Oh, I hope I'm saying that right. And look, fine bone cheek, fine bone china cups. I never knew you were so cultured. Listen, Maya, I'm cultured. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Come on, Maya. This is common knowledge. Any Joe schmo would know this. Listen, she's 19. I'm cultured. <laughs> let's, let's not go that far. This is the restaurant front. It's the restaurant. Eh, it's the restaurant front entrance. There's a sign hanging on the door, right in French. Probably says open or closed. Must be one or the other. But I don't know what. I don't know which. Wow. <clears throat> I don't know which sense. I don't. I don't jack what. What? I don't jack what's about French. Well, I don't. I don't care. I don't know. I fucked that up. I'll take the L on that one. <laughs> all right. I guess this is all we're gonna get for now, right? Trying to look for some more details. But I think that's all we're gonna get here. Okay. Wrong button. Let's head out. Sorry, you gotta go through the detention center to get to the criminal affairs. Aww. The little, the fucking, whatchamacallit, the blue badger or whatever. He has a girlfriend now. That's cool. It's been ages since we came down to the precinct, huh, Nick? The fuck you mean it's been ages? Fuck, it hasn't been that long. <laughs> Looks like Gumshoe isn't around. He's got it so easy, leaving everyone else to do the work. No, he's out there somewhere. I bet it's on the courthouse. He's probably trying to arrange the retrial for this case. Guess that means we should go to the detention center and chat with our killer, huh? After being convicted without a fair trial, I'm not sure killer is the right label. Hmm. Well, I guess... That's it. I can talk to her about the, uh, newspaper. Maybe she knows something about this. Oops. My bad, I forgot. Can't press the button. Gotta go to present. There you go. Oh, a sports paper. Let's see, let's see. Did Gustin Braun manage this? G Gustin? Gut Guts? I feel like I'm not saying that. Gustin Braun? Hmm. Managed, to def managed to defend his heavyweight title? Sorry, Maggie. That paper is actually a month old. It's from the day of the murder. And Gustin got knocked out yesterday, I'm afraid. Oh, oh no. I found this paper and... <laughs> what if she just went, Oh no, I betted all my money on that. On that match, I'm broke now! <laughs> Why is everybody broke in Phoenix, right? I found this paper in the magazine rack at Trespian. Really? That's strange. Trespian doesn't get newspapers. I mean, who does nowadays? Unless you got a dog or a cat or something. <laughs> Favorite badger is Bad Badger, which is just the blue badger with a gun. <laughs> What? Oh man, that has to be one of my favorite like memes. Just like take take random like anime characters or whatever and just put a gun in their hand. 
Like, for the longest time, I would just have nothing but pictures of that, and I would just text it to people. And then we would have wars, and it would go on forever. My favorite one is, uh, of, of Ed from Ed and Eddie. He's, like, peeking out from his bed, and he's holding the gun sideways. <laughs> it's hilarious. Mr. Armstrong says he's not really fond of them. Then maybe, one of, his name is Armstrong, and he doesn't like sport. Come on. Then maybe one of the customers left it behind. Anyways, what I want you to take a look at is this scribble here. Aha! Uh -huh, that's it, sir! MC Bomber. That was the name of that was the name that was written on the CD. Just as I thought. You know, one of these days, I'm gonna one of these days, someone's gonna walk up to me, right? And I'm gonna say I'm gonna say something about a CD and they're gonna be like, what's a CD? <laughs> I'm gonna be like, what? Excuse me? I guess it was I guess it was an MC screwdriver after all, huh? So that's 100,000 must be a down payment for a record deal, right? If someone gave me a hundred thousand, I should sing for sure The master of curing or the spirit song or even my the I'll pay you Um, Okay, Maya So if the sample CD was on the victim's table That means this newspaper must have belonged to the victim You're right so the victim left this behind on the day of the murder. Huh. I think we better step up the, inf the investigation, don't you, Nick? Alright. Well... I guess that's it for now. We'll head back to Criminal Affairs. Alright. This must be the chief of the detectives here. He's glued to his computer screen. What? Master Mass turned up at the bank? What is he doing? Hands up, you scoundrels. You're under arrest. Hey, that's our job. Looks like Ron Delay opted for a new career. <laughs> Quit surfing the net, Chief. S sorry, I was just, uh... I was just doing some research. Things feel pretty tense in here. Hey! Oh my god. It kind of freaked me out a little bit. The way, like, Maya just flickered into existence. Or fucking instant transmission. Hey, that's the police mascot, isn't it? It's so cute. That's that's the blue badger. It was my idea. I made it, and now it's national symbol of the police force. Wasn't it Gumshoe's idea? So what's with the pink one? It's new, right? She's not an it, Nick. She's a she, right, Chief? Yep. Meet the pink badger. So, one's called blue and the other's called pink. But they're both called Badger. You got it. They're married. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Badger seem to be cuffed together, Chief. <laughs> That's what I call marriage. You got it. That's marriage for you. <laughs> Alright. I saw it coming. Whoa. A mascot that's deeper than the deepest of deep oceans. He's like, you'll never be happy. You can't go nowhere. Alright, shit. I guess I'll try heading back to, uh... To Tres Bien, right? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Ooh la la, bonjour. Welcome to Tres Bien. Oh, hello. What happened to Maya? She's frozen stiff. Oh! Uh -huh. Alright, I gotta think I gotta think of a I gotta think of a voice for this one. How does Snagglepuss sound you guys know who Snagglepuss is? He's like the pink lion or whatever, used to be on like Hanna Barbera Hanna Barbera uh, Hanna Barbera cartoons and stuff. He's like flamboyant. Um shit. God, I can't I'm trying to think of the voice. I'm about to embarrass the shit out of myself. I think he sounds like this, or something like that. Something like that. Snag- Snagglepuss. Some fuck. Damn it. I gotta- I gotta- <laughs> I'm gonna mute my mic for a second, I gotta test this out. <laughs> get- get the throat ready. Get it all lubricated. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> 
spot. Alright. B Bin a V. Welcome to my petite restaurant. Huh? B B Avenue. Oh none. My petite tulips. Huh? Me? Look at the face. Like the like the kitten rejected by its own mother. You're f you're fragile, no? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what a fatigue for I what is that word? <laughs> of those! You need this. And the Romic bath oil mel uh, what the fuck are the this French? Oh god. Hey Greg, how's it going? How the fuck do I pronounce all this? Miller Miller Milligan what? Lenore L Lenev what the fuck? Nearly? Nearly? N narrowly? Fuck. Whatever, man. <laughs> you think I need what? We oui. just add a couple of drops in the mixtures to the to the bath water and voila. It would smooth your body and your mind. It's simply fantastic. Really? And for the mesure. Who me? Look at your face! Like the puppy rejected by the life itself! You are f you're fatigued, no? For you, monsieur, I recommend this. Oil- oil of what? Ba bagam- bagamot? What the fuck? This guy's batshit crazy? Listen, he might be batshit crazy, but he's fucking fabulous. He's working on a beard, I'll tell you that. I'll add the peppermint and the sherry and the- the what? The clary you said. For the fragrance ex- I can't. I can't read this shit. Such an invigorating recipe will bring out your delicious beauty- Beauty mus- <laughs> My beauty. Of course. If you will be seated, I will bring you the special menu of the day. <laughs> My brain's dead trying to read this shit. Me too, man. Gadot's the sexy, sexy one. Of course he's the sexy one. He has a smooth but yet raspy voice, kind of like this. As I slowly sip my coffee. Hmm. <laughs> Edgeworth was here? Listen. Listen. I'm not gonna say much, but I'm saying when Edgeworth's here, my pillow's ready. It's on the floor. I may or not have some marks on my knees. Just saying. Jake Marshall. I hope Marshall comes back. I really do. I liked him a lot. <laughs> Actually, well, for, I mean, fuck all those people to be on besides Edgeworth. What I want to see, I want to see Francesca come back. I want to see Edgeworth come back. And we got to bring back a lot of heart. That's my girl. Actually, we're not here to eat. We're lawyers. All right, so uh, Miss Bien Sefer, fuck. I'm done. I'm done. I can't do the voice and read his bullshit at the same time. I know. It's, I know it's already, Monsieur. You are the Phoenix, right, no? Mm, yes. You know me, Mas Wee oui, Wee. Oui. I never forget a man who f who flirts with me, especially in a court. I guess he was cross. Ex <laughs> I guess he was cross examined by our mysterious. I Can someone in this fucking Chapter speak English for like two seconds. <laughs> Ezra is great, but you can't deny the sex appeal of Gadot. Exactly, right? <laughs> On a sexy scale, I feel like Gadot slightly above Ezra. <laughs> Try reading the words way longer than I did, so props. <laughs> exactly. It looks like everyone. <laughs> Looks like everyone uh, to do what the case knows who I already am. I wonder what sort of expression. Zinifa? What the fuck, man? It's gonna bother me. We're just. We're shortening it to Zin. How about that? To Shin. Shin? Whatever. Shin's been leaving on people, don't you? Allow me to introduce myself to you again. I am Jean Armstrong. Enchanté. This pose this man is that this man has adopted towards me. <laughs> Alright. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. Tres bien. So what does tres bien mean? I know tres, that means three, right? 
no 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 Teres Bian is fantasy uh fra uh fancy uh, fuck in English you would say very good oh very good we oui. exact ex exact what the fuck it's fucking up my perception of English already. La atmosphere is Tres Bien, and la cuisine is Tres Bien. Okay. <laughs> why does he have- why does he have his O face? I know, right? He's like, come to me, sweetie. My cuisine is not for all. Some people, they do not like- they do not appreciate the hot cuisine. <laughs> I thought everyone liked hot cuisine. Since I have lost Maggie, I do not have enough hands. So- for anyone who's played Persona 3, there's a fucking French exchange student in there named Nimbebe, right? But even he's not this fucking egregious. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> so you're running this place on your own. We, oui. for the moment, no one has answered my av my advertisement. Oh, oh, poor moi. Please don't eyeball me while you say that. God. God they had fun with this guy, didn't they? <laughs> I'm the chef, I am the manager. I am also the trained ab 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 aromatherapist. There we go, for some reason. I'm gonna forget English by the end of this. A roaming what? A practitioner of the aromatherapy, let Arthur smooth in the soul with the delicate flora aromas. Delicate? The smells coming from that bottle earlier was anything but. Okay. So, would you tell me what you know about the internet? Just do a horribly exaggerated French impression and roll with it. Now that's for Persona 3 because <laughs> you walk up to him, he's like, My name is the baby. I am how you say, uh, he's like, Origato is I must. I'm how you say, uh, Gaijin. Bien, it makes me sad to remember it, yet I remember it so well. More than a month I've passed since it happened. Since it happened. Since it happened. Yeah, I guess it's been about a month since Maggie's sentence. So, it was the third last. What? It was the third of last month. Just after one of. Oh God! Just after one in the afternoon. A man who was here for a coffee center to leave became ill because of the poison in the coffee. That's that is the truth, and I know it. Uh, it was Maggie who took the drink to him. I was in the kitchen. I heard the sound of someone collapsing. When I came out and see what it was, he, he was already slumped in his chair. He was dead? The sprites are amazing. Oh yeah, fuck it. I, I like this guy already. He's definitely tough. That, like, listen. Mo had heart, right? But this guy got everything else. If he ends up being the killer, I'm gonna be so sad. Uh, we. He was dead. Maggie and uh, Maggie had passed. Maggie had passed out. And the man who died was he alone? Wait, oui, Monsieur. All alone. I know that Maggie said it uh, was someone else, but I see. The police asked me many times. Are you sure it was no one else at the table? But I am not the only one. Leo Man, uh, Leo Man said is the same thing. Old man, what old man? <laughs> He's good, kind of annoying. Exactly. Like, uh, like for those who saw, um, for those who saw my uh, uh fucking Room Factory stuff for Room Factory Four. Like, he reminds me. He's literally just uh, Porcelain Desanta, Desanta Coquille, right? At the time of the murder, she was another customer here. Ron was bad, kind of annoying. Well, he had. Well, he was kind of a coward. I guess. <laughs> Someone else saw it. Uh, Miss Wee. In usual, he came alone as the day. In the time of the murder, it was uh, he was here. He saw it too. But he says this. He says the same thing as. Wow. He said. <clears throat> but he said it's the same thing at wait what the same thing he said fuck but Maggie swears that god it's killing me god I got sucked for her but 
<laughs> I'd go suck a fat one. Hey, man, he has a... Hey, listen. You can say whatever you want about that dude, but he's got Desiree, so... I mean, at the end, he's a winner. But Maggie swears there were two people. Mademoiselle, the lawyer could not prove it. Could not prove it. About the lawyer, was that me? I suppose. Miss, God. Wow, he's the first person who said it wasn't me. Don't kid yourself, Nick. Now he's the one making stuff up. God. <laughs> Ever heard of Stockholm syndrome? Yeah, I know. That's why we play Sonic 06. She's not Stockholm, though. She Listen, he, like, he saved her in a cowardly way, I guess. Uh, is that it? Do you know anything about this? I'm not a lawyer myself. I do not wish to speak out in turn. But your defense in court that day was a little... How do you say? Lacking? <sighs> Even a Frenchman cannot speak in... Could not speak any English could have done a better job. You were very cool, though. Oh, wee oui, wee. Oui. So handsome. Wow. I wonder just how bad the defense could, could have been. Every time you opened your mouth, his whole courtyard stirred. The whole courtyard stirred. Oh man, that's something I don't want to imagine. We found this. We found the sport paper in the magazine rack here. Thought Ron was adorable. I think Ron's cool. Ron's cool. He's just a doofus, right? But he's like a, like a doofus doofus while fucking Larry is just like, fucking stupid. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? One of my customers must have left it behind. Do you have any idea which customer it was? Yeah, the only ideas I have, man, is all I saved for my kitchen. Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> he <is>, he's fucking... <laughs> Man, I'm trying to remember, like, this joke I said a long time ago. I was talking about something. I think I was talking to somebody about, like, Ed and Eddie, and we were talking about Ed, and I said, well, he's he's unfortunately stupid. <laughs> something like that. Along those lines. He was a tiny bit, but he was too incompetent for that matter. Yeah, kind of like, uh... I guess kind of like Ron from... <laughs> Well, fuck Ron. Kind of like Ron from Kim Possible, where, like, he's goofy, but he still manages to get shit done, I guess? He's just magoobering his way through life. Oh, really? Nothing? Okay. Well, uh... Is there anything I'm... Oops. Didn't mean to go there. Fuck, I love this goddamn theme. Damn, Maya, you're the best. Makes me happy. I didn't get nothing new out of that, did that? Okay, hold up. Let's head back to Tedespian, right? I don't think I can... Let's try looking since he's here now, right? Maybe he can tell us more about the area? Or what, what happened? What, what went on? No? Turn about sister is a jam? Yeah. <clears throat> Had to clear my throat there. Hey man, what do you think about this shit? Please, monsieur, there's no need to show me that. You are my Phoenix Wright, the worst defense attorney in town. I think I can imagine how if... <laughs> wow, okay. Last time we met, did I show you this badge? We, oui. you flashed it to everyone in the restaurant. Looks like, looks like Jin, looks like Jin is a bigger fan of flashing stuff than you are. You know, he's the first person that reacted to my fucking badge in this game. Like, had a proper reaction. Actually, I think Adrian reacted to it, too. Maybe? I don't really remember. Uh... Oh! Forgot. Keep forgetting. I can talk about people. Tell me about Maggie. Maggie was a policewoman once. In the past. Yes. But she had to quit for some reason beyond her control. Wait, wait. She was a little suspect in the murder investigation, no? Oh, you know about that. It was why I gave her the- it was why I gave her the perfume for the, uh, for happiness. Happiness perfume. Blended from- oh god, I don't even know that fucking word. Bergamot? Bergamot? Oh, fuck. Like I've been giving you- uh, like I've given you before. Well, she's been arrested again, and found guilty this time. It's true. Natural aroma of happiness must have been- must have been very strong. Just admit it, your perfume doesn't work. 
I'm not surprised she was the prime suspect. After something like that took place before my very eyes. Something like that. Something like what? What's this guy talking about? Does this mean Maggie did have a motive? You gotta ask this guy for more info, man. Okay. When Maggie took the coffee over to the victim, did everything happen? I mean, everything. Did anything happen? Well, I suppose you can say so. So what happened? No, it was, uh, it was nothing. Look, Maggie says she didn't even know the guy. But she's still being indicted from, indict, wow, indicted for murder. The prosecution must have come up with some kind of motive. We, it is true. If there was anything at all between Maggie and the victim, it could be relevant. So please, tell us anything you know. Oh, come on, man. You're too fabulous for this. You're too fabulous for this. Why you gotta be like this? No way. What are we gonna do, Nick? We'll just have to remove... What the? What, what's wrong? The Megatama is gone. I knew I felt like I didn't have much on my person. Huh? I had it in my pocket, but... It vanished into, into thin air. What? But I could see the Silox. Maybe that means the Magnetom is nearby? Um, Mr. Armstrong? Can I just confirm something with you again? The table where the victim was sitting. Was anyone else sitting there? That's a question you'll have to ask him yourself. Huh? Him? The old man spends all the time... All the time, what? All the time, din lip. I don't even know what the fuck that means. The prosecution is too sexy for the motive to matter. <laughs> he said, what's the motive? He's like, what's the motive? She's wearing glasses. Do you trust her? Everyone looks at him. He's wearing a whole face mask. And they're like, eh, I guess he's right. <laughs> oh, park. Wait, what? Oh, a park? What park's that? Behind the restaurant is called, it's called Vitamin Square. Thank you. I'm not even going to pronounce that. Let's go check out Vitamin Square right now, Nick. All right. Cool. All right. So. See that right there? Uh, I do anything for a kid that, especially with a theme like that. Fucking hypnotizes you. All right. So I'm going to take a quick bathroom break because... I need to use the bathroom, so I'll be back in like five minutes. In the meantime, since we're going to take a little break here, now's the perfect time to remind you guys, if you're not followed, try doing that. If you want to sub, maybe throw some money my way, you know, you know mucho dinero. We'll get rich out here. If you got a Twitch, uh, Twitch, if you got Twitch Prime, get a free sub. Eh? Eh? But more important than all that, uh, go get BTTV so you can have access to some emotes and stuff like that and animated emotes and stuff like that and for those who do sub you're gonna need that for some of the emotes in the future just letting you know right off the bat so I'm gonna go take a quick break I gotta take yeah, use the fucking bathroom man <laughs> so I'll be back in about like five minutes I'm a chef, chef too. 